Ah, oh, wow. Oh. Uh, it's Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Good morning. Hi, hi. Or noon. It's noon. <laughs> I stayed up really late. <laughs> I stayed up so fucking late. My speaker's not on. That, that would do it. <laughs> I stayed up so fucking late. <coughs> how, how are you? How are you, Lynn? Yes, you did. And after telling me you'd be going to bed soon. I got lost in the sauce again! <coughs> you <I> sure did. <coughs> I got lost... My skin... My, my, my skin... My throat... My throat's really, like, oddly choked up. Like... Really, not like horse, horse, but like really like tight feeling. And I hope I'm not getting sick. I can't get sick. <laughs> I can't get sick. <laughs> Was it cold last night? Well, yeah. We we walked we we walked to Walmart. I mean, it was cold. It was like four degrees, but that's like Celsius. So like four. Convert 4 to 4C to 4C to F. 39 degrees. Around 39 degrees. It wasn't that bad, though. I didn't think it was that cold. And for the amount of time that I was outside, it, I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. At least I did, again, at least I didn't think it was going to be... Hi, right, Ben. How are we doing? Probably that then. You power walked the whole way, so moderately heavy breathing with cold air. You mm. should be all right. Just a little hoarse. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's sickness, cause I. It's just the throat that feels this way. I don't really feel like shitty or congested. I just, you know, I woke up at ten, and then I was like. You know what? I'm still a little sleepy, so I slept for another hour, and then I got up at 11.30, which is pretty damn late for me, but again, I, I stayed up pretty late, and um... Yeah, it's probably just a reaction to the cold air from last night, since you exerted. Yeah, probably. And you then, should be good. Yeah, and then what is your reactive not working? Oh. Let me, let me check your reactive, because it's not blinking. And it should be. Oh my. No, I think it's it's just Fuji. Fuji. It's just being silly. No worries. We're doing pretty good, right, fan? Good morning. Oh, it blinked there. Um. No, we're doing pretty good. How are you doing? Hello. Good. I keep saying good morning. <laughs> My my voice is a little weird today, but we're gonna. I'll, I'll be monitoring it and seeing if it starts hurting and stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have Zelda today, but um, and because of that, and because I couldn't find anything else that I wanted to play, we're we're gonna have Zelda today. We have Zelda at home. <laughs> we have Zelda at home, so we're gonna play Zelda. And I'm at doing quite well. Not yes. sure if chat has seen the new Final Fantasy IX outfits making the rounds, but Zidane and Garnet looking amazing. Oh, they're so fucking cute! Like, I- so, like, the Ever- so the Ever Crisis collab for- let me just- oh, here we go. Let me just first get in here. I- you know what, actually? I think it's Discord being stupid, because I don't know if you can see the screen share. I don't know if you can, but- um, heckin, no, so, like, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis is a mobile game. I mean, you won't convince me any Kuja outfit involves pants, but the rest look wonderful. Yeah, no, the, the outfits for most of the characters so far look really, really fucking cute. And the one that's, like, got a fucking chokehold on me is Aerith's outfit that is inspired by Garnet. And it's just so fucking cute. And, like, some people are posing her with Cloud because Cloud is dressed as, like, the Don. And, again, it's like, I want to say, I want to say more modernish takes to the outfit while also kind of 
fitting the character that they're that's wearing them. So like uh Zidane's outfit has, you know, that turtle a turtleneck ha- is made is made what seems with more of a denim like material. Um Arif's is more of just a dress and it's it's so fucking cute. And I saw a fan art of Zidane with Garnet and they're wearing those version of their outfits and it looks so fucking good on them. Mm. And I don't care for gotcha games. It has it is Discord. Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay. Discord's fucking open. I return. Yay, you back. Okay, and your reactive's working, so let me try this again. There we go. That was weird. Okay. You should be able to see the screen share now. But yeah. Um, and I'll be keeping an eye on some stuff here on this side, too. Make sure I can still scroll around. Yeah, it should be good. But yeah, um, I am fucking, I am in love with those outfits. I am in love with, first off, I love Cloud and Aerith. I, I ship them, um, even though it seems like they might not end up together, but I still ship them really hard. I think they're really cute. Um, I fucking love Zidane and Garnet. That's Jester's file. Fuck. And um, the the the, out, the, the outfits... gentleman thief look is so good on Zidane. It looks so... like what you'd expect them to wear post game. It's so fucking good. It looks so good on him. Like I looked at that and I was like, "Yo, am I thirsting for Zidane right now?" Like, oh my god. Like, no, I love I fucking love Zidane so much. It looks so fucking good on him, and like. That ponytail just, mm-hmm. yes. The ponytail puts it all together and really does give that gentlemanly look. It's so good. I fucking, I thought about it. Like, when I went to sleep and I thought about it again waking up. That's how, like, in the trash bin I'm in. And it was just so fucking cute. I get cute. that. So fucking cute. Just love it so much. Just the composition of everything. The little, his tail, like, wrapping around her. So fucking cute. Um, yes. So fucking into it. Just love all of it. Um, 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 um. So. Really love those outfits. I would absolutely love whenever they do um, Remake 9. If those are, like, DLC or some shit. Or maybe God, we will... need to finish it before you forget all the lead up. Mm-hmm. I still remember some of the bit. From what, um... I can't remember his name. Starts with the G. The old man. I remember that, li- that build up. We can probably finish Actually, it on... Actually, fuck Zelda. Let's do that now except not because you're a professional. <laughs> well... We can do that after stream, actually, because we don't have Zelda tonight. And I'm still going to probably stream my normal time. Unless you have Ultimate. Do you have Ultimate tonight? Yeah. Mm, okay, never mind. We'll figure it out. Though it should be shorter than usual. Yeah, just let me know. If we end up, if you come back and we have extra time, let's fucking wrap it up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, definitely do it. But yeah, I'm getting Zelda. Just Again. the final dungeon, though it'll be like three to five hours. Mmm, okay. Huh. Oh. Okay. Lots of bosses and story. Mmm. Okay. Oh.
Okay. So last time on Zelda, we we're trying to get the batteries for the Lightning Temple. There was one more thing I wanted to say about Zidane and Garnet, but again, I love them. It's so fucking cute. I remember. I low-key kind of want to get Gallon and Polo in those outfits because I think they look also really cute. It really gave me them vibes too. Or Trinicato. I think Trinicato would also look really good in those outfits. They're just really nice outfits. Oh, wait. I was about to sketch us in them, but go ahead. You, no, you can do that. Oh, absolutely do it. Don't let don't let my fucking trashness stop you from from unleashing your dreams and following your heart. If I'm a if 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 I am a Hi Sasa, how are we doing? Already stopped. It what cannot be undone. No! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, they're up there. I was wondering why there are arrows here. There we go. Look at all these free arrows. For the low price of free. I didn't tell you to do that, Riju. You can, you can, you know how you can stop. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, I don't need any of that. Of that. Okay, we've got some. I see we have some balloons. Okay, we got some levitation stuff here. Do I have a guster? Yes, I do. You had your midterm? Do you think you did good, Sasa? There's a reflector there. Okay, I think I know exactly what needs to happen here. Need to bring the light somewhere. Mm hmm. I think I did okay. The essays were hard. Oh yeah, no. Open-ended open-ended questions like that are always a fucking bitch. I actually like don't like filling them out. Like I know you have to, but I I hate it. Oh, another reflector. And an arrow. I always just feel cuz there's there's certain things where like certain professors will like if you can explain um, it, for, in my, at least in my head, if I could explain relatively quickly and easily what the answer is, then that should be fine. But there are some professors that'll be like, no, you need to, did I fucking fuse? Oh no, I just got that from somewhere else. Um, there are some professors that will like expect you to, to like explain your reasoning for shit. And I'm like, I'm not a, I don't want to. Okay, so we've got... I'll probably put this here. I didn't want to do that like that. That looks like shit. Alright. We've got... Alright. Can I use these torches? Can I... No. 
Oh, wait. I want that. Um, how am I going to get this up? If I can't. Okay, Anna, you gotta lift it up and then it's a levitator. Uh, hmm. We don't have a fire starter here, only a. Oh, I have to light the torch. No. Grab. Oh shit, that worked. Hell yeah. Hey, finally catch one live. Hi, Star Paladin, how we doing? Yo, that fucking worked. I don't know what the fuck that levitator was gonna be for, but I sure as fuck did not need it. Hey, Riju. Riju. Thank you. There we go. Alrighty. Hmm. Not gonna step there. I don't need it. I was not expecting that to work. I thought I'd have to like turn the thing another way. All right, where are we? What floor is this? Third floor. There's one on the fourth floor. And then there's one in. Let me slightly lower this just a little bit more. There we go. Two of them were about the record labels Elvis was originally signed to. Which one? And which one bought his contract? Oh. That sounds like music history. Which I guess that is what you said it was. Like, history of rock and roll. Ah. Damn it. So I'm trying this jalapeno Haverty cheese that I got yesterday. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be. I'm a little sad. But it's really good. Like, yeah, that'll be because of the cheese. Mm hmm. It's like, it like has... pepper jack. Well, I find pepper jack spicy, though. Oh, thanks for the comfy mode. We broke V Bridger. Hell yeah. Like,. It's not as spicy as pepper jack at all. Because I know jalapeno isn't as spicy. But. I don't know. I guess I expected more of a kick. Mm. It's really good though. It has some spice and some nice flavor. But the cheese counteracts the spice. So it's mostly just flavor. Yeah. It's yummy though. Like with jalapeno bread, which I maintain makes the best garlic bread. I've never had jalapeno bread. That sounds good. Okay, fourth floor. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
I need to get the light to hit this. Hmm. All the reflectors are up there. We still haven't really found the second floor battery. Okay, yeah, we found that because they moved it. I found the first one. Hi, Rejo. So lovely for you to join us. <clears throat> okay. This is the first floor. And then this is the second floor. No, so you get you some jalapeno artisan bread, the kind that's a circle instead of a loaf. And you cut it like a checkerboard, but not all the way through. Want that bottom crust intact. Yeah. You then stuff all the crevices with whatever cheese strikes your fancy, and also a bunch of garlic and green onions. Wrap yeah. that baby in foil and back in the oven for a few minutes to melt all that cheese and crisp up the crust. Take Ooh. out, serve, and it's incredible. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds really good. Fuck. <clears throat> okay. I feel like I need... To find that fire shit. And I have to drop in here. Because just hitting it is not going to be enough. Not with how this grate is. This grate is too... Too much. So this is the second floor battery. And it feels like the only way to get up to it. Up your garlic bread game and learn the truth of the universe. <laughs> Freaking... I know compared to your to your jalapeno garlic bread, it's probably very low brow, but Red Robin's is freaking jalapeno poppers is so fucking good. They're literally just mozza jalapeno mozzarella sticks. Except smaller because they're meant to be like little poppers. And then they give it to you with red pepper jelly. And those fuck so good. They're nice and they're nice and spicy. Hi hey, say how we doing? They're nice and spicy. Not obviously overwhelmingly spicy, um, but they have like a, a good, nice, again, kick spicy. And um, I really like them. Okay, what's over here? Oh no, those are super yummy too. Though sometimes they don't crisp proper and you just get a mouth full of grease, which I hate, hate, hate. Yeah. So far, I've never had a bad experience with them. That has to open. Someone see us? Oh. Ah, <laughs> Tulin's just shooting them from there. But poppers are wonderful. Yeah, no, jalapeno cheddar poppers are so good. Okay. Cheddar, you say? I normally uh, go for mozzarella. No, it's mo it's moder it's no like they're like cheese poppers. They're mozzarella. They're mozzarella stick. They're like mozzarella cheese poppers. Red yo, those are so good. Red Robins goes hard sometime. Again, they're they I, I wanna say they have no right being that good, but no, they're it's 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 kinda hard to go wrong with mozzarella sticks unless yeah, you like fucking you put like you, you 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 bathe them in oil for too long or don't wrap things up properly. This might be where the battery is. I see this ledge here that I couldn't access earlier. Or the oil isn't hot enough. Yeah. There we go. Thanks, Tulin. 
You're already so much more useful than you were last week. All right, what's going on here? Oh, okay, it's one of these. You gotta go through it at the right time. All right, what are we doing here? Aside from the obvious. Okay. I already see how this is gonna be. Wait. Hmm. Um, I gotta use recall. Aha! Somehow that fucking reached. I'll take it. That worked. I'll accept that. Oh, uh, it's so bright. Red Robins goes hard sometimes. Again, like, their, their menu yeah. items... Their menu items are okay. I just, I looked at that and I was like, maybe it's recall. Oh, and it's doing it again. Okay, cool. And she's over there. Alrighty. Like, Red Robins has some okay items. I never tried Red Robins until I finally moved to Canada. Funny enough, again. Like, actually trying fucking American chains when I'm in Canada is kind of really funny. And, like, it's, it's a funny ongoing theme. Does this mean that eventually they were gonna kind of do it? I didn't really have to do recall. They just eventually align. Oh. Now there's only one to worry about. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, press the switch. This thing is going to be a problem. Oh, probably. Until it isn't. Oh, wait, hold on. Is this a hole or is this just rocks? Okay. Ha, okay. This will be easy. This is fucking. Okay, let me just, uh. Might be too wide, but. Okay, it's just a little too wide. Okay. And that's the battery. We're still on fourth floor, right? Fourth floor battery. Perfect. Okay, what does this do? Oh, that just turns it off. Hey, Sweet. We can get past now. I've been been able to get past now, girl. It's fine. All right. Oh, are they going to come here? Of course, it's a fucking archer. That's a hole I can go through? No. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's... Uh, uh, probably don't need three rocks, but I have it here anyway, so why not? Why not three rocks? Should be another button around here. Room of light and shade. All right, we got the. P <laughs> we got those. P they, they wouldn't. You need to make them sync up in a way. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's where that's where recall would have worked. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's get my guster again. Yo, I was so brain dead last week. Last week when I was doing this, but now my brain is like so like activated it's because Lynn is here <laughs> my neurons are firing because Lynn is here all right so that's that's gone now all right so I have to understandable you <laughs> have a crush to impress ah! <laughs> I gotta open that Biggest brain. Okay, so we got these boys here. These stakes. We won't let the light shine through. Hmm. That's the... What's going on here? It's not like this turns anything. Uh, but what can the Zonai stakes be used for? Oh! Hi, Quinn. Oh! Can I help you? No. No, you cannot. Haha. -ha. I didn't realize you're I in my Quinn face, and I can't get in the Quinn voice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. He he he. There we go. I don't need that anymore. I actually don't know what that ended up opening. Did it open the fucking? Oh yeah, I ended up opening this. Uh, I need to get up. How do I get up? I'd ask how you're doing, but that voice tells me enough. Yeah, you're helping. Well, I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing good. I just can't really change my voice very much. Like, if I if I try to like go outside my normal range, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm 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 I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay-ish. There we go. Let's climb right up. I have some orange pineapple V8 splash, and I've been drinking on that all day. You know, I probably was supposed to use nice. the stakes to stop the revolving thing, yes, but I just yes, did not. Were. I did not do that. <laughs> I am so working so smart. Okay, so this probably have to shine it here. Now here's the problem. Uh huh. There we go. I unquinified myself. Okay, so here's what we can do. 
Just thinking, because the thing's right here. So now that I've moved my rack... Yay, fairy. Also, no, I won't listen and get out of my face. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. There you go. Ah. Okay. I think this is where I have to use the stake to, like, move the... Hooray. Have the light hit it. So let's, uh... Grab this hemkim steak. Alrighty. People were able to make really, really crazy stuff with the steaks. I just never figured it out that well. <laughs> you know what? I actually didn't have to use the steak. I could have just held it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. I love how brain dead this game is allowing me to be. But secretly allowing me to also be covertly big brain. Yeah, everything about Tears of the Kingdom you can just exploit the fuck out of. Alrighty, so that's done. Riju. Nothing over here. Okay, Riju. This is the fourth Baghdad battery. Or what they wished would be the Baghdad battery. Hit it. But yeah, I just finished eating the fuck out of my sandwich. It's so good. I'm so happy I have deli meat and cheese again. Alright, that one's done. Now how the fuck do I get to the second one again? Okay, make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Well, let's go to the second floor again. Actually, oh, well, let me see this real quick. I can't move that, but I need to be able to bounce the light. This is going to come into play. I just don't know how. Right now, this goes there to hit that. And maybe at some point, it's going to bounce back up so that I can utilize these statues. But right now, I can't. Oh, no. I think you can move uh, the light from the one on the left over there mm -hmm. uh, and have it bounce on the other two that are up there to go to a different place. Oh, yeah? Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you can just move that there. statue. Yeah. And then it'll hit the. You'll have to move the other two statues that aren't getting that aren't getting light. Yeah, I see. I yeah. f completely forgot that the source the source light is also like movable. Again, last week my brain was not working. And then what do you hit? Yeah. And I think this might lead me to the second battery. Because the second battery has a huge fucking... is in a fucking cage. With like a fire ceiling that I can't reach. Where's the wind? Yeah, I think you'll have to climb. Yeah, I'll have to climb. I'm just seeing where there's any more... Cause the wind goes a lot higher, so it's like you you can go higher. You have taken me higher. All right, where is it? Right there. Get in the gust. All right, that's fine. That's what ascension's for. Urge to break out into song, but can't. Can you take me higher? <laughs> Glad you finally got it working again. Cheating. It's been a long time coming. You've also used the stakes in place of the giant rocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, it just takes me here. I think I went too high. Yeah, you did. Can you take me higher? Too high. <laughs> but you can jump down a little better now. 
Yeah. Black. Press button. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> I tried to do a Mario fire, but I couldn't do it. Okay, so how are we gonna... Valid. Okay, there's a way to do this. Oh god, this reminds me of a sky area later on. You have to dodge a bunch of things to go down. Oh, I already did the the Rito. Use your Biako extreme oh, training. No, not the Rito one. <laughs> oh. A uh, different sky area. Oh, uh, okay. Well, good thing we opened that door. Where's Riju? Uh, she'll get up there eventually. Oh, there you are. Nice of you to join us. There we go. Mission Impossible theme. No, it's not that much. I, I first thought that I had to like stop the fires. All of the batteries with lightning. But it turns out it's uh Let's go, Link. Turns out you just had to fall down and not be stupid. You know, you mm. just pay attention. <laughs> Alrighty. There's one sky area later where when you fall down. You have to like fall down perfectly. Oh. Uh, and there's a bunch of lasers going everywhere. And if you get hit with a single laser, then you have to start back over. Mm. And, and it's crazy. There's like three different like sections to it. I've just been wearing the Bokoblin mask this whole time too. <laughs> Yeah, no, no one, no one cares. No, no, everybody's like, like, oh yeah, it's just a problem, whatever. Just yeah, no. Just let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> he didn't make fun of me for my for my mask last last <laughs> game, so I won't make fun of him for this one. I have <laughs> no right to say a goddamn thing. Hold on, I'm getting cold. I need a robe. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I don't want to turn on the heater though. That's electricity that I don't want to use. I've already show the time. Alrighty. Something oh, yeah. shining oh, over yeah, there. there. <laughs> Freaking my my bills like take away automatically, so I don't ever have to be like, oh shit, did I pay my bill? It's have like, you considered I clothes? I am wearing clothes. That's why I just took off I just found but freaking just Yeah, Jester's robe. I have it. I have it now. <laughs> I, I exactly considered clothes, Lynn. Have you That's... considered your clothes? No, I don't have as nice a <laughs> robe. Jester's robe is nice, and it smells like him. So psychologically makes me feel safe. It smells like talcum powder. No, it smells... Like no, I'm not trying to suck your toes, but hey, pretty girl, I'm sucking toes. The way you do the things you do reminds me of me sucking your toes. That's why I'm all up in your toes. Thanks, Asa. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Stone there. So I'm gonna assume I should start hitting these because Riju's here and I can do that. So. I didn't do that properly. Oh. I gotta do that. Oh, they're all of them. It's all of them. Okay. Riju, come back. I think you have to shoot these when they're at a certain point of like redness. Oh yeah, you have to start things first here. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm wondering like what what am I starting? <laughs> Where is he? I don't know. <laughs> you can't ascend up these. Maybe I have to- Oh, I gotta hit the big one. Oh, there you go. There you go. I had to hit the big one. That took me a second. 
Yeah, I didn't remember at all. There we go. This just means that uh, Gibdos are weird fucking bugs. Yeah. And not corpses. I thought they were like yeah. zombies. We'll it should have been. <laughs> I don't like bugs. <laughs> it works. It's kind of fucking terrifying. They're, I think they're based off of like corpse flies. Yeah. Riju, get over here. Because I know exactly what it's going to fucking do. Oh, shit. Damn it. We can't kill those things yet. I'm going to die. Uh, That's not what I wanted. Do I have any food? No, the answer is absolutely not. I don't have any food. Gorge yourself on apples. I'm running out of apples. Gorge yourself on peppers. I can do that. Oranges. I don't have oranges. Destroy the oranges. I meant squeaky. Oh. Oh, yeah, you meant okay. me. Maybe the That's exactly what it was, Riju. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I love how Riju's like, man, I really suck at hitting things with, uh, with lightning. So how about you attack things with a tiny piece of metal on top of a stick so I can hit that instead? Yeah, I feel like that will work. That'll work. <laughs> it's like, it's like Riju. <laughs> like Riju, do, do you know how like actually y you complicated it even more? <laughs> you know how much more complicated that is? You know what? You do you, girl. I love you. You're so fucking cute. Yeah, if they weren't that if they if they weren't as cute as they were. <laughs> you're so cute when you're butt fuck stupid. <laughs> I love when Tulin doesn't do anything. <laughs> what Tulin doesn't what do, expect, do? What do you expect Tulin to do right now? Hit it. <laughs> hit it. I, I expect him that, to hit it. <laughs> you know what I, you know, in hindsight, I wish that Tullin striking something with arrows would allow Riju to strike them. Yeah, that that'd I think that'd be really, be really cool. cool. But that's, yeah. that's so oddly specific and I feel like can be more detrimental than, than useful. Yeah, Girl, but please just like, shock most everything. of the time, most of the time whenever I played through, I didn't really use Riju's ability that much. Mm. Like after this like building. Yeah, that's the thing of I'm looking at this and I'm like, I understand early on when you find her, she's testing it on dummies, and then mm. because of because of how far away she has the dummies, she's having an issue, like hitting them. Yeah. Look at the <laughs> size of that thing. <laughs> you can't hit it. <laughs> you can't hit it. You can't. You just you can't hit it. She's Fucking. Learning. Shrimp time, shrimp time broke V Bridger again. So one sec. Nobody, nobody threw her, nobody threw her into a, into a fucking um, uh, spirit lake for half a year to learn her magic. She had to learn it the, the, the slow way. I, I would hardly, I, I don't know if, I, I don't know if this technically is considered magic, is it? I guess. Yeah. Yep, she's using, she's using lightning magic. Good job, Riju. Do the thing. Little, little lightning <gasps> like, look how damn big that thing is. I'm sorry, you can't hit it? I think while it's white like that, you're supposed to hit it with stuff. I know, but I don't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> it makes sense. I'm a bitch. Oh, damn it. Yeah, Riju. I just wish there was another way to trigger her ability other than just the arrows. Like, give me like, give me like Fuck. one other way to trigger it, you know? Yeah. And have that either be Tullin or have that be like, I don't fucking know. Every now and then, whenever 
you sword strike or something or just have her like randomly shoot out lightning if like she ends the time without shooting it she's definitely better as a fighter than for her ability which is yeah she, she definitely hits things decently good <laughs> I'm not hitting it with the right thing. I'm hitting You're it hitting with a it fucking core. You're hitting it with a Korok <laughs> duster. Are you okay? Fuck. All right, hold on. I gotta eat. fucking eat those peppers, Link. You didn't fucking eat. Hold on. <laughs> Link's just like, but I don't want to eat your pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, phase two. It's gonna activate the Gibdos. It's gonna make this fight ten times harder. It kind of makes it a little easier, too, though, because once you get rid of those, you get a lot of light sources. Oh, yeah. Come on, light up, light up, light up, light up. Okay. And then once you and then you can basically just stand in the in the light and a lot of things can't really do a shit to you. Yeah. Uh Oh, oh it's the fucking the flying one. He's gonna have some bad poops. Oh, it's gonna suck. Hold on, where's my? That's a claymore. That's a spear. Hold on. With butter. Okay, wait, where's Riju? Riju? Damn it! Okay, no, that thing's being annoying. Fuck. Okay. It's do you doing have that. Any portable, portable, uh, I, I do, but I don't have any. I don't have a lot of things to cook with. Hold on. I probably just. I probably have some defensive stuff I can make defense food. Oh, oh. okay, no, never mind then. I guess we don't care. Uh, first off. Uh, oh yeah, I do have my, my talus, my talus spear. Oh, fuck. Okay. Sand shoes would be also good for this. If you need to, I'm sure you can teleport out to cook food. I wasn't able to teleport out. Once can I was in the you, temple, uh, I couldn't get out. Can you uh, put on any stronger armor? No, I don't have any stronger armor. I don't have, like, any armor. Uh... No, I don't really have any stronger armor. Um. Oh, you no, have your attack up. You have your attack up close. Yeah, I probably could use that. I um, but no, I've never, I've not been able to. I like even when I was in here, I wasn't able to find a place to leave. Mm -hmm. Like. Um. Probably use a better shield, even though it doesn't matter. All right. 
lady. You can hit X to open the world map. X jumps. See, if you balance out the fire and ice fruits, then you'll then you'll not have to worry about it. Heh. <laughs> oh god. Okay. And sometimes it wants to hit Riju instead, and we'll take I'll take that. Probably. Are you oh my god. Okay. Riju, do it again. Damn it. Okay. There we go. God damn it, I don't have enough stamina. I really should have. Uh... Alrighty. Oh, fuck. Come on. Well, again, I can't leave. <laughs> like, uh, like, hold on. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, I see. Also, one second. What's going on here? My tail didn't turn pink. There we go. Also, we broke V-Bridger again. Well, of course we did. Let's go. Uh, but, well, if I die again, then we'll just fucking leave and get some actual food. We didn't want to do that. Whenever they're all in groups like that as well, instead if you don't want to swing your sword, you can just uh, try to strike them with uh, the Rejure arrows instead. Yeah, but the, the thing is though, she keeps freaking getting away from me. And then I can't fucking use her ability because she's too far away. Hmm. Oh my fucking god. Okay. So okay, eyes. we're just gonna have to leave. I'm running out of stamina. <laughs> I'm running out of stamina and they keep hitting me. So I guess I just gotta leave. Way too many little guys. Yep. It's fine. Whenever you come back into this place after teleporting away, you can just ride the little elevator all the way up. Yeah. Uh, X. Um. I think there's a cooking pot in Gerudo Town that I can use. 
Uh, really come back as soon as you can. Yeah, bye. <laughs> oh, you're leaving? Yeah, bye. Just leave Reju. Just leave Reju to fight the fucking Gipto Queen. Have fun. <laughs> It'd be so funny if you came back and she had it killed. Yep, she can do it. Like, what? How did you do that? Well, I learned I have infinite I had, health. I had, yeah, no, I, I had to learn. <laughs> I had to learn. <laughs> I learned I have infinite health, and uh, I learned how to how to strike things with lightning on my own. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Come in. I mean. Uh, also, guys, your uh, your leader is currently fighting a Gibdo queen. Maybe you guys can go and uh, go and help. He'll be, he'll be fine. Okay, that's not All right. Where's the cooking pot? Pretty sure there's a cooking pot here. If not there's material. Yeah, oh, there it is. is. Yeah. It is. Don't mind me taking the. I'm just gonna Don't mind me steal taking your this. oil real quick. And your butter. Don't worry, I'll give you some of my butter in exchange. Ew. Alrighty. How come nobody think... wants my butter? <laughs> it's not organic. <laughs> it's not organic. No. Stop. Can't believe you beat the shit out of that lady with a torch. I'm trying to remember how the fuck you use the torch in a non-lethal way. I'm just gonna move. Okay, I just need a torch that's more at level, I guess. Here, I'll use this thing. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Now we have all our shit back. Um. Uh, we have this for some freaking things. Uh, we need something with either strength or defense, and I might want to aim more towards defense. Mm hmm. But I don't know if I have any armor. Just getting some pure health ones would be good too. Yeah. So let's see. Um, I don't have any armor mushrooms. I don't have any armorinth flowers. Razor claw, bright eye. Um. Uh, bugs won't really work. That's for making potions. Yeah. I don't have any armored carps. Electric. Stam bulb. Alrighty. I think we can only really make health stuff. So. Uh, um, so let's just make a. Uh, bam. Bam. Alrighty, Mighty Aye. Grilled Salted Prime Meat. Cold. Yeah, if I have a Mighty Thistle. Hi, Dr. Dreads, how we doing? Dr. Not Mighty Thistle, but my brain. And then Bananas. And then we got put... steak and bananas. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then we gotta put a salt. Be a Hyrule herb. And maybe an Hyrule herb. Hey! Mm. Got a good one. Okay. 
Uh, time wise, not really, but it's a, it's a good it's a good deal of hearts. Hmm. Uh, mushroom, mushroom, herb, herb, nut. <laughs> but you said you weren't gonna give them any of your butter. It's not butter. Mushrooms. Butter. Mushrooms cure. Yeah, it's organic. <laughs> so it, is the butter. It's <laughs> organic. <laughs> No, it's got hormones and GMOs. <laughs> Not That's... added hormones and GMOs, though. No, it's exactly got added hormones <laughs> and GMOs. I know what your <laughs> diet consists of. You don't know shit about my diet. I know. I know enough. Shroom. I drink so much V8. That doesn't mean shit. It's juice. Basically, what my diet is is juice. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> no, it's very good. It's just not great. <laughs> huh. All right. I have just. Is this just a regular? This is a swift carrot. And this is an Endura carrot. Get some more stamina for your for your running around. Maybe. Actually, hold on. <laughs> I didn't do sh that. Didn't did that a lot. <laughs> did that a lot. That's only I love a, it whenever a he does bit little spin. little hums. Yeah. All right. How about this? Let's do. Let's do a bass. Let's do a bass. Eat some, eat some fish. I have a salt. I'm gonna salt the fish. A carrot. I'm gonna carrot the fish. Stamina. Gonna, this is a skewer, isn't it? It might be end up, and it might end up being a skewer. <laughs> and shit. No, it isn't a skewer. It also didn't give me any stamina. <laughs> stamina. -am. Stam bulb. I rule herb. Meat. Now this will be a skewer. No. no. What happened to the meat? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> so, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I love this. by I love by the way that you can cook crabs, but you mm -hmm. can't cook other you can't you can only cook water bugs. You can't cook lot you can't cook ground bugs. No. Because ground bugs are gross. <laughs> <laughs> Ground bugs are gross and don't taste good with butter. Yay, I can glow for six minutes. <laughs> You're glowing. I read you, I'm glowing. Don't you see how amazing I am? You're an entire rave. <laughs> I love how it was for six minutes, too. Like, holy you, shit. Like, I don't need that much, but I also use two glowy fish, so... Hold on. Here, just... Oh, man, ten minutes. <laughs> it's food. That's all I care about, it's food. The secondary effects might overwrite some of your other things. I just have to make sure I I just have to make sure I don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms that leave you glowing. Completely unrealted. People are watching a conspiracy documentary talking about how the moon landing was totally fake, and I'm just, wow, it's fascinating how confidently wrong people can be when they assume they're talking to morons. Nah. Right. Is this all the food Carry I... on. Uh, okay. If we land on the moon, then how come uh, we don't have... Uh, there's no footprints on the moon. Checkmate. Huh. There are. I can't see them, so they're not... Anyway. <laughs> like, anyway. Well. All right, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold this. 
Nice sort. But like other way. But like other way. Thank you. <laughs> but like other way. <laughs> um, oh, you want to you want to view some things? Yeah, I'm gonna make some 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 better weapons. If you make some uh, magic weapons, you could probably fucking uh, skip over the whole having to strike them with a reju thing first. Oh, the right combination can draw out the blazing power contained within. That could help. Fire, yeah. fire, Lizalfos. Um, yeah, let's do some con construct stuff. There we go. I've got a plethora of things I can use here. Um, for my Gerudo spear, I might actually want to use that horn because it'll allow me to make. It'll allow me to keep some distance while hopefully uh, doing some fire. Yeah! Cool. All right. For the stick, I want blunt force trauma. So let's go with the black moblin horn. All righty. For the Gerudo scimitar... Let's oh, use one force trauma. <laughs> let's use let's use this one. Uh don't have another spear. Yeah, you just have the two uh swords there. Great sword. Gerudo Claymore. This is strong fusion, so it might be worth to do this one. Yeah. All the Gerudo stuff have strong fusion, which is really good. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So, like, plus times two. Wow. Yeah. I think a fun one is them talking about how the astronauts don't have shadows. It's like, you know the moon is bright as heck, right? It's a bit more complicated, but they're practically standing on a light table. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, I think I can just add something to this broadsword. It might just be worth it. That's not it. Oh. Oh. Now it's just lighter. Okay, no, I'll take it. All right, I think. Okay, I think we've got some I think we got some good things going on here. Okay, can you can you give me the spa treatment? Yeah. 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 No. Give me the spa plan so I can get the extra hearts. I like uh, how after the after you say spa plan, they literally just like have the giggle and it's like, what the fuck? What are you laughing at me for? I just want to take care of myself. No, because I that know. makes them make extra money. Yeah, I know. Oh, there it is. There's the giggle. <laughs> you hear the plap plap plap. <laughs> you hear the <laughs> plap plap plap. They're giving you a back massage. Yeah. Nothing inappropriate. This is a family game. <laughs> Oh. Oh wait, you haven't seen this. I haven't. Yeah. Oh, Lynn hasn't. You've been you've been here watching for like a long time. How do you mean you haven't seen that? No, this is actually the first time she stayed to watch. Oh. On a Monday, she's usually busy on Mondays. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we're all good. We're all good and we're all good and set, hopefully. Let's do a hemkim save. Out of safety. Alright, okay, I guess we can go help Ryuju now. Whoa. I like how the map actually like shows you teleporting. You go like whoop, and then it yeah. fades out, and then you're. Boop. Okay, make I sure watched I have... for the first couple streams, but then was like, maybe not with the spoilers. But at this point, I'm just too busy to play it myself and don't have it anyway. So it's like, might as well chill with the wife some more. <laughs> All right, back, Riju. Hi, did everything go good? Where are you? Link? 
I've been waiting, now let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Link, oh wow! Up, so Peter? kind of you to fucking join us. We were talking about if the moon landing actually happened. <laughs> so kind of you to jo fucking join us, Link. It's a lot more understandable about the moon landing thing in this world. Love the sass. Oh, that's so, so kind of you to join us, Link. No. I was really hoping you'd get here. At some point. Bitch. Yeah, I don't have- I should probably just, like, strike it twice and then... Fuck. It's okay, I've got fucking glow fruit. Glow stuff. It's gonna glow so fucking hard. Alrighty. Okay, we're gonna glow like a little hard. Just a little. As a treat. Oh shit. Mouth is a deadly laser. Where did it go? In the sky. Damn it. There it is. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Where mm -hmm. are you? Stop moving! You're so annoying. Alrighty. Let's get my, my Lizzle spear. No, it's fine, Riju. Yeah. My Gerudo bow broke. It's a good thing I have like five more, but. Ah, fuck. Calm down, Trent. You're being too smart right now, Riju, okay? Stop. Oh, Konya. Oh. Uh. Ah, fuck. It's okay. You got this probably. Oh, there that goes. Fuck! Okay. I didn't see where that was. Fuck. Fucking huh. laser. Yeah, no, the little sand laser is fucking bullshit. All right. Oh, when you get in the when you get in the light, you should use your mirror shield. Yeah, I probably should. I can probably use that against the laser yeah. theoretically. Maybe. All right. That do be what mirror shields do. Oh, come on. Stop moving. You're so annoying. Okay, Reed, you're gonna do it again, okay? Also, I do like the monster design. Oh yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a good, it's a really good design. It definitely pr does its purpose. Come on. I like bugs. 
I think having the sand boots would have also made this a lot easier because then you can just walk oh, on the ground. Yeah. Uh. Well, put him up on hammer. It not having eyebrows makes it being on the ground kind of hilarious. Okay, Link, I know it's like right in front of me, but ready your bow. I can't hit it without that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what makes Loki Riju kind of suck. Like, again, <clears throat> the fact that I have to depend on her being able to hit it in the first place because of my fucking thing. It's like, really, girl? All right. I need you to reach, but you don't reach. It's too far away. Where are you? Whole time you're beating on her, she just looks like, well, this is happening right now. Not much I can do about it. Um, did I leave the stove on? <laughs> I don't want them to surround me, Rishu. I think the really annoying ones are the flying ones too. Once you get that uh that light though, you might be able to mirror shield those guys down. Yeah. That light, <clears throat> maybe Coño. That fucking beam. I think it just actually murders them uh, if you hold the light on them enough. It actually does, yeah. And I think it murders the queen, too. What I want to do is mostly get them down so that Tooling can kill them. Come on, that fucking beam. Okay, no, I'm not going to waste food right now. Uh, You might need to... Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you were in okay. one shot territory there. Yeah, no. Not yet. Need them to reach stuff. No, you can't. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta hit it. No. No. I need you to fucking... While it's down... Nope. Fuck. I forgot. I have my wrong shit on. I'm gonna die. Uh, salt grilled. No, let's take another glowy. Fuck. Again, I gotta get these fucking Gibdos off. We only have one more Gibdo spawner to take care of. Yeah, I'm just thinking right now. 
What I what I really want to prioritize is keeping myself topped <clears throat> up on health. Once that last one goes down, you won't have to worry about any of them like flying around you anymore either. Yeah, no, I gotta, but I gotta get <clears throat> Riju within distance. All right, sweet. Now we just have the ones that are in the air and then they'll go off eventually. Get out of here, you big dumb. All righty. All right, this should be easy fucking, this should be easy now. Yeah, you can laser them while they're lasering you. I kind of am not good at pointing the fucking I like, think if how you, do you lock onto them, then it'll automatically do it. Okay. You have to put your shield out, too. I, I'm crouched for some fucking reason. Ooh. Don't want to heal. Yeah. one there we go this should kill it let's fucking go fuck this stupid thing holy shit it's annoying hooray i did not like this boss either mm -mm. <laughs> i like being able to laser it that was back to the funnest part of it i'm i'm kind of really bad at aiming the shield my only my gripe with the ads because that's really what the Gibdos are. That's are the biggest the, problem. The ads. Yeah. The ads are annoying. Because now you have to worry about that thing shooting lasers at you. And then they're jumping you. And then, yeah, you got to get the thingies. And again, that's not bad. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's just annoying. I hate yeah. ads in boss fights. And on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. And on YouTube. We don't like ads. <clears throat> I also just do actually need hearts. I've been kind of prioritizing stamina a bit more. Because stamina actually does have a bit of a cap that is yeah. easier to hit. So, okay. Max Alrighty. stamina is a lot more important in this game than it was in the last game. Too. Oh, definitely. What is that? I don't know. This adds oh, on hey, YouTube can be a minima. Yeah. Got us some Shinto in our Zelda game. <laughs> yeah, Tulin touched one of these two. Yeah. And if, obviously they reused Ubrosa's voice actors, which I don't blame them for. Why not? I know that voice. <laughs> You're the one who's been talking all this time. And also the other voice, but don't worry about that. Your ancestors from a time long past. I was a Gerudo warrior who served the first king of Hyrule. And the sage who called down lightning, just as you. I have a camel mask. I've seen you yeah. brandish the power you have. This will be the only reference to the divine beast you get, and nothing more. Nothing less from my descendants. They don't exist. The they never have. The <laughs> hmm. You know, you know the best thing that there's. You know the best thing about this, Diego? What? Gerudo. <laughs> They're saying it properly. No, no, Gerudo. <laughs> My brain gets confused. I find it funny how in the five years that between this game and the other one, uh, Riju got an accent. <laughs> well, you know, she was growing up around a bunch of other people with accents, you know? Yeah. Long, long ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, Great evil 
the demon in me emerged. Also all the people making fun of Zelda for being the only British person in this entire kingdom. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Raleigh, the first king of Hyrule, and six Still daddy though. Mm. I'm proud to have been one of them. We faced the demon king, but only after Rari gave us the secret stone. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the so to let me strike things with lightning by myself? My no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we were no match for his overwhelming power. He endured our strongest attacks, even the lightning strikes I called down. King Rari knew we had lost the battle against the demon. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the imprisoning wall. One of two. Mm-hmm. One of them. One of the imprisoning wards, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I only tell you this to inform you that we are better than you. There were more of us, and he beat our asses. <laughs> Yeah, but they didn't have Link, so... <laughs> Are they better than them? They just had, like, godly power and shit, but we could, like... We could, like, eat anything we want, so, like, I think that's more powerful. When that time comes, you must help Link. He's a noble swordsman. He will we just walk up to Ganon with 90 apples, and we should be good. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power. The Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. We are responsible for his very existence in this world, and for that we must make amends. I swear to you that Stop time to consume infinitely within the breadth of an instant. Yeah. Hero time, baby. The Gerudo yeah. Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsman. It's one of us. One of us in the in the timeline was that. The, all of us in the timeline was that. Sure, fam. And now I have told you all <laughs> I can of the imprisoning war and of our people's destiny. What's really funny is that I saw a post that showed like the busts of the of the four sages, and it was like, "Yes, girl, give us nothing," because they made these new characters and don't do anything with them. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. I'm sure we'll get more of them when we get to Age of Calamity two or something. Hmm. Hopefully, because <laughs> apparently they, they don't plan on making any DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, really? They Yeah, no, they I, I, I was talking to uh, Jester Tristan about it earlier a while back, a little while back. That's real sad. He was. Yeah, there was like, um, I guess it was like an interview with the people who made fight by your side. It was like a, an interview with Aonuma and all that stuff. And he, they said, like, outright, there are no plans for DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. They're done. Can you imagine Age of Calamity 2 is just following Zelda when she goes back into the past? That would be interesting, yeah. you just go yeah. through the entirety of that, like, imprisoning war. <laughs> and there's just no That'd link. be nice. <laughs> like, I think it's really nice that in Tears of the Kingdom, they're utilizing the descendants yes. of the champions. I like that they're doing that. <clears throat> I don't care too much about Tulin. But I understand why they decided not to use Teba. Yeah. Um, but I would have I would have preferred Teba. <laughs> um, the big problem with Teba is that nobody cared about Teba even whenever Teba was a badass. Yeah. Like everybody was always talking about Rivali. No one gave a shit about Teba. <laughs> like literally, no one talked about him at all. But people talked about Riju. People talked yeah. about Sidon. People talked about uh, Yanobo. It sucks because apparently fucking Teba was a broken ass unit in Age of Calamity. I'm still yeah, going. Yeah, dude. Teba fucking is a badass. I remember seeing like the cutscene of mm -hmm. like Teba in the very beginning was like, yeah, I'm related. I'm like, I'm like the, I'm like the be the best Rito here, and I'm just like, yeah, I see. <laughs> and it's like I also don't have a fucking t fucking chip on my shoulder like Rivali did, so I'm actually yeah. likable. <laughs> I think they're funny I'm enough. I'm also not short. 
I think they're funny also enough also, the, I think they're both played by Sean Chiplock, but I can't remember. <laughs> Like, I think they're both played by Sean Chiplock, but I'm not sure. I know Ravali plays Sean Chiplock. I'm not sure about Teba. Hmm. But I really like Teba. I like Teba. That and cool. I'm a little sad that, like, just either the Rito, they don't care or don't like them. And I'm like, come on! They're birds! He just wasn't a very popular character in the original, unfortunately. I guess I guess not. I don't know. So it's like, we'll grab Telen, because Telen's Teba's kid. It's hard to hate on a kid, right? Gamers no. notoriously love kids, right? <laughs> no. I'm a, and I'm a little... I'm a little sad they also cut Riju's hair. I get why, I guess, but I don't like... I'm sad that they cut her hair. She was really mm. cute with long hair. They they love taking out long hair characters because it's like, oh, whenever you make their hair shorter, that means that they're they're taking the warrior lifestyle. And I get it, but damn. <laughs> But then it's like I guess also the they're just... easier to animate. Well, if they have mostly if, that, if the hair has physics, you don't have to worry about that. My biggest problem with this, well, one of my biggest problems with this game is that it's open. It's an uh, open world. Mm -hmm. Like I, yeah, it seems I to still it. be linear. Well, that's the problem. Is like I, I would love if they gave us the open world. That's fine. But like, have us go in a set path around because mm -hmm. right there, the cutscene we just got, where the champion tells us about like the past and shit like that, mm -hmm. is repeated every single time with very very small differences. The yeah. biggest one, the best one, was the one you just watched oh. because they tell you, "Oh, he was our king, and we rebelled against it," and that's new information, and that's yeah. really cool. Most of the other ones are just like. He was a demon king, and we didn't like him. Yeah, but it's understandable <laughs> as well, too, that the Gerudo would have that additional bit of dialogue. Yes. But the it makes sense. problem with it being an open-ended game where you can go anywhere you want and tackle these in any order you, you want... You would wish that, that they, they would they would add more to each one. Yes. Like a compiling yeah. narrative. One of them can't give you information you don't have, so they all give you the same information. Yeah. That sucks. Which is why it would make sense for them to make that information in general based on the Gerudo. Yeah, mm. it will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but thanks to your help, we can live on the surface again. It's really cool, too, because, like, obviously, Riju <clears throat> giving the most information from the Gerudo is is understandable. So, like, yeah. the Gerudo, I would say, would be the final one to go to uh, because of that. But, like, yeah. if they were able to, like, have this be more linear, have a more linear narrative maybe you could have seen things in a different order. One of the big problems I had with it is that I actually saw one of the uh, cutscenes out of order when I was playing because uh, I found one of the, like, the little little Nazca line things on the ground. Yeah. And it was like one of the, one of the last ones. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> it's like, I definitely get it. I definitely get like, you don't want to, you know, halt players who want to do certain things or whatever, but like it kind of is at the expense of a grander story, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of odd too. Cause again, it's like when, when I start the game, it's like, you can still go whatever order you want, but like, they'll be, they'll be like, Oh, Hey, you should go to the Rito first. And yeah. then telling us when... the same story four times is terribly droll and having each side giving us pieces of the puzzle so we get a clearly picture after all four is way better than the same spiel over and over. Yeah, it just feels lazy, honestly. The, the best, the, the, the worst part about it is that there is an order that makes sense mm -hmm. because the way that the, the champions are. Uh, Tullin is out of the four, uh, out of the four places you go, probably the strongest summon. Because yeah. he actually is a long range fighter. Okay. Every now and then he gets a uh, hey Zimpa. Yeah. Every now and then he gets uh like a uh like a critical hit or like a headshot on something. It's really good. He's probably the most powerful of all of them. Then Yo. you go to like maybe I would say Sidon, then you go to uh then you go to Yanobo, then you go to Riju, in my opinion. Those are the that's that's how I would go on a second playthrough. Southern Elden, the map in the Forgotten Temple. Mostly just because Sidon helps you go through the uh, uh, the 
the heckin' volcano with a little with a little water stuff. <laughs> yeah. But like for example, again, the game also kind of like seems to have a bit of a linear thing going on because mm-hmm. at the start of the game, Pora's like, "Hey, you should go check out talk to this dude and go figure out the Rito." Yeah. You don't have to, but you do you can it tells you to do that. Then when you finish the Rito, it's like, "Oh, you might want to go check out the Gerudo." And then when you go to the Gerudo and you have to like do the thing to unlock the Southern Temple, there's a thing where Riju's like, oh man, if only we could fly as high as a Gerudo, uh, uh, fly as high as a Rito and yeah. fly as like uh, efficiently as a Rito. And when you think of like the wind funnels that launch you up, yeah, you can use those. You don't need Tulin's. Ab- well, Tulin's ability is really useful, if not in some cases, almost really fucking necessary. Because sometimes you have to reach certain things before you lose elevation. And if you don't have Tulin to just shoot you through, you're, you have to rely on climbing. And now what they've done in this game to promote the sticky function is that you can't climb upside down. Well, the best part about going to the Rito second is that mm-hmm. the desert is harder. Yeah. Like it is, a, it is a harder thing to do because if you go to the other two places first. First off, you're going to have better weapons when you show up here. But uh-huh. second off, you're going to have a lot access to a lot more magic when mm-hmm. you get here. And magic is the biggest weakness of the of the Gibdo. So yeah. I understand why they want you to go to the Gerudo second because it makes it more of a challenge. Mm-hmm. At the same time, though, they could have just not made the Gibdo weak to every single form of magic. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's weird that like the the they they kind of seem to want you to be. I really need to get like some like heat resistant stuff. I don't have any rupees. Yeah, you need to you need to like buy like fucking the Vo armor. Yeah, I uh, I'm just thinking. Uh, I might come back and do their little rock things. There's a shrine right there, but I can't get to it because right now it's just. It's just too early in the time, and I don't have the the proper armor to just wear to run around here as much as I want. So Southern Elden is where the Gerudo, um, not the Gerudo are, the Gorons are. And you know that it's an actual temperature I can bear. So let's actually go over here. You know what? Actually, I think they could have done to make things better for for both aspects. Mm-hmm. Just not tell us the information. Like have the person, have the champion, be like. Oh, I am the champion of the of them. I am the sage of uh, of of lightning, and I'm gonna give you the stuff like they do, and have them have like a brief conversation with. The but that person, makes that almost makes tell... that almost makes well, the I've... sages Loki even more useless. No, no, no. Have them still have their conversations, but don't tell the the Ganon stuff immediately. Oh. Um... Have, have the Ganon stuff wait until you either do the Gerudo one, which you know they have the most like ties to it, but don't have the other ones give you the same information. Okay, now I see what you mean. Yeah, just have the other three just be like, "Yeah, we were fighting. We were fi- we're we're champions. We fought the thing." Uh, maybe have them have a better tie to like say something about the ancient uh, Rito or say something about the ancient uh, uh, Heckin um, um, uh, Gorons or something. Say some mm-hmm. other information, but leave the Ganon stuff like, "Oh, he was our king. He was this. And we and we mm-hmm. rebelled because." we're fucking badasses leave that for the gruda yeah i feel like it would it would at least take away the sting of learning the same information four times yeah i think again <laughs> i think in the case of them giving you the same information over and over it was just laziness yes. um because it's you have to do them anyway Obvi- obviously like with the first game you don't have to do all the champions <clears throat> um in order to fight ganon it's just going to be harder hmm. and in this game I mean, you don't you pro- it's probably the same thing. You don't have to do all the sages to go fight Ganondorf. Um and that's that's well and fine. But if you do a decent way you get would be to have them all talk about themselves for a bit and how they got their mitima and how it's relevant, keep Ganon to the Gerudo story, and get the story about them all fighting and then sealing Ganon after you do all four. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's and that's the thing. Like they could have they could have done that to encourage and reward the player for doing it all, but they don't. And that makes and me again, a little it's sad. Not, it doesn't make it. It isn't. It isn't terrible. No, right? I'm not saying like, it's bad. It's just it just feels lazy. Like yes. like they were like the player might not do it all, so let's not do it. But it's like but 
I want the lore. I want the story. Like, why, why am I getting punished? Because you think people might be fucking lazy. It's, it's even that. It's like, we get the story. The story is there. But, like, because they made the Nazca line things go out of order, sometimes mm -hmm. people get spoiled, which really sucks because I got spoiled on them. I really late game thing because i got one like the third latest one you're supposed to get or something um and when it comes to the the things it's like i i i feel like i already know the story after doing one champion thing yeah after after doing after doing hecking uh uh tullens i feel like oh okay so they fought ganon and then uh he sealed him away cool what are we gonna learn next time oh we fought Ganon, they sealed him away, and he the Gerudo didn't like him. Okay, what about the next one? They fought Ganon, and they sealed him away. Okay. Right, <laughs> and the okay. Next one, no, so like, Ganon, yeah, like did y'all do anything else? They wanted to make sure you get the gist of the base story, even if you skip most of the champion stuff. Which, I mean, I get it, but I think it's misguided and adds meaningless bloat. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, though, it's really cool to hear like the the slight changes from things. Like, oh, we we get the we get to hear. Uh, uh, heckin' uh, the little thing with Zelda after talking to the champion. That's cool. It's like, oh, please help us and stuff. And it's like, that that's that's real neat. I get to see the, the interactions. Cool. But, like, it's not enough. <laughs> yeah. Either way, very fun game, though. That's one of the only yeah, no. nitpicks I have with it. Oh, yeah, no. my like, And it, it's okay if the nitpick is kind of how they're handling the story, because they're they're just kind of doing it. They're playing it safe, and that's it's fine. Not even, it's not even yeah, specifically Yeah, and we Zelda. don't actually need the entire monologue every time to get that Zelda moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not even just like... It's not even just like Zelda in general. It's, it's what I have in, uh, like, away from a lot of open games like this, where you can do... You can do the things in any order. It's the same thing with, like, Pokemon and stuff like that with the latest one. It's like, oh, you can do the gems and the other things in any order. But the story is sacrificed because of that. <laughs> yeah. I would rather you just give me an order to do it at that point if it means yeah. you give me a better story. Because that's what I did. In the end, I'm just like, okay, what's the level of the thing so I can go to each of them in order? <laughs> yeah, sacrificing story for modularity. It's like, a lot of people love the idea. It's like, that's a selling point for some people. It's like, oh, we could go straight to the eighth gym and fucking do that immediately? That's awesome. Yeah, and then the rest of the gems aren't going to be shit for you. <laughs> it's like, is it? Is that is is that the shit or is it just shit? <laughs> Which doesn't only, have to be a sacrifice, only... but writing is often the first thing cut in modern gaming. Uh, the only sad. thing where it makes sense is in the original Breath of the Wild where it's like, you could go straight to Ganon if you want to. That was exciting. Like we can just go straight fucking there, and that that was that was cool. That's funny. But you don't. They should have still gave us an order for things if you don't want to go straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> At least in the gotcha. original Breath of the Wild, it was a lot. It was a lot less like prudent to like go to each of these areas in in general. But like that's mostly because they didn't have the past storyline thing you had to unlock. I mean, they kind of did, but I was like, yeah. It, it feels more impactful here. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they do do an Age of Calamity too, though. I feel like that's going to be a really cool place to place to flesh out these other characters. Yeah, because I, I had heard that it's like they, they introduce, you know, another set of ancestor sages thing. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. But you don't really get anything about them. And I was like, okay, well, maybe they'll do a DLC where they go a little bit into them by doing, like, little missions in, like, so their corresponding region. And then they don't do that. It's so weird. They're <laughs> apparently, they're not, they're not going DLC. to. That's so crazy. Yeah. That's that's apparently what was said in an interview. <laughs> but maybe they'll think back on it because if Tears has been doing really well. And I don't know. Like, that's more money. But at the same time, it's development. I don't know. I don't know. But it seemed, but it seemed like they're kind of done with this era of Zelda and want to just go to the next thing. And I get that. Like the writers have outright said that they actually don't like that they have to think, quote unquote, think about a timeline when they do this. They just oh, want to make a they Zelda game. Never made an official timeline. They, yeah, I was like, they may, maybe shouldn't have. <laughs> 
They should have never made an official timeline. That timeline shit is, is... They need to break it. They just need to literally break it. They technically have with this because yeah. they're our ancient Rito. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find, like, the mine, which is, like, right around here. There we go. They literally do that. the next the next Zelda they make they need to make it like a fucking super like time travel at like extravaganza and it's like you're breaking everything all oh, the timelines are splitting oh I guess there's no timeline now <laughs> it, it's that it's that thing of like <clears throat> obviously back then it probably wasn't as much of a big deal until they started like something like Ocarina of Time yeah until they made it official. <laughs> The, the worst part about the timeline, I've mentioned this so many times to people, it's just that I, I it's it's so stupid to look at it and be like, oh, Ocarina of Time is the most important game because it splits yeah, things three my ways. only bit criticism, well, not only, but the one that is currently in my head for Breath of the Wild, is the way the open world creates narrative dissonance. It does a really good job of selling the encroaching malice and the urgency of your quest but also skip pity due to finding me some wood people to get more tree POO for my collection. Calamity Ganon? Yeah, he's chilling. I'll get there eventually. They Zelda's been holding up, Zelda, Zelda's been holding him back for for a hundred years. What's another couple days? <laughs> like... They never mention the Calamity at all in this game. Like hardly at all. Like they, they never mention yeah. Calamity Ganon and I and like and why Calamity Ganon existed whenever the seal didn't break. I hate that so much. Um, yeah, but they don't like mentioning anything from Breath of the Wild in this game. So that, and that's the thing that kind of fucking gets me because it's my like other biggest pet peeve. That, that's that's <laughs> my pet peeve because it's like and I remember I, I, I talked to Tristan about this and he was like, well, maybe it's because, you know, they 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 in case people didn't play it. And I'm like, who didn't Fuck play Breath of the Wild? When it, it, <laughs> it's the it's the worst. It's the worst thing, because like you they have plenty of time to <laughs> it's like I, no well here's the thing i understand that there are some situations that not everyone could have played breath of the wild i get it like and i and, unfo and, unf and, and unfortunately we don't have it's i i now this i don't know when this actually stopped but you remember how back then like there was playstation's greatest hits nintendo's greatest hits and because it was a greatest hits title you could get it at a set discount it was always going to be discounted it was the greatest hit so essentially they're guaranteed sells if you got the console, mm. they don't do that anymore. PlayStation doesn't so do that anymore. It's also so strange to think on when you consider Tears of the Kingdom was originally going to be a DLC expansion that they decided yeah. to make a full new game. And, and there was a thing of before we got a, a freaking title, it was literally called the sequel to Zelda Breath of the Wild because no one knew what the name was. We just knew it was happening. Like, everyone was, saw it as the sequel, and then it just really didn't seem to want to be one. And it's like, come on. Like, I I didn't do all this shit in the first game for it not to fucking matter. I, the, I, I'm so sad that they didn't at least yeah, explain Yeah, they literally referred bit. to it internally and in press releases as Breath of the Wild 2. I'm just really sad they didn't explain it at least a little bit for, uh, for things. It's like, they didn't explain, like, why the the calamity dragon uh, calamity ganon came out and why he was a dragon and all this other stuff it's like why didn't that go down and i almost felt like they were gonna but then they fucked me <laughs> mm. but uh they didn't uh which is really sad um but then uh what was i saying before that before the before the calamity freaking stuff got brought up um i don't know <laughs> I'm gonna fucking put a, make a fucking chandelier here. Open world. Yeah, there fuck open world. I, I, I'm, I'm fine with open world nicer, stuff, writer. but like, I'm not fine with non-linearity. When it comes yeah. to things, if you really wanna, if you really wanna do something like, oh, you can go to the final boss without doing anything. That's fine, whatever. But for those of us that wanna do the stuff correctly, give us a set path to go down because that way, at least, you don't have to, like, sacrifice the story for it. Yeah. Like, if somebody wants to go and fucking, like, fight fight Ganon immediately with a stick, go, let them do it. But, like, yeah, for the rest of us, don't. Don't sacrifice the rest of the game for it. 
Yeah, again, that's the thing that just makes me a little sad that <clears throat> that's kind of how they decided to go about it. And it is what it is, but because, like, obviously, no. I'm no, fine with non line just... but not as a substitute for narrative. Yeah. You need to that's... pay your writers more and craft a story that works within a modular framework. See, that's why uh... the Age of Calamity story was so much better than Breath of the Wild. <laughs> like the Let's story see. in Age of Calamity exactly. was so much better. Like the nope. game, obviously the gameplay was better in Breath of the Wild, but the story was so much better in Breath of the in, 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 in Age of Calamity. Age of em Calamity is so good. Emerald put, was like, you know what? They could have fought the storm for the with the for the Rito. They're flying mech. You know what could have fought off the Gibdo infestation? The lightning camel. <laughs> they put so much effort removing so much shit from the... That's the thing. It's like, and, and maybe that's what they considered. It was like, well, if we introduce these new problems in the Rita, in, in, in the world, someone's going to be like, well, where's your divine beast? Why doesn't that fucking work? And here's the thing. Maybe you can just say, you can just say they don't work anymore. They, they just don't I'm work saying. anymore. Maybe don't hide the most important dialogue about them behind another ending in your previous game. Because well, like... they say at the end of Breath of the Wild in like the true ending or whatever that, oh, weird, uh, Vaumetto isn't working. We're going to go check on that. That's like, the yeah. only time they mention that. And then they never mention them at all in this game. But that's that <laughs> thing where it's like, just... You said they don't work anymore. They don't work anymore. That's all. That's it. You don't need anything more. Ya no trabajan. They don't work. They broke. They're glorified landmarks now. They're landmarks. Yes. Give me a camel in the middle of the desert that doesn't move. That's all yeah. you needed to do. <laughs> that's, again, yeah, no. Give me, give me meadow perched on the rock. Give me, they're glorified landmarks now. That is part of their, that is part of the region's history. Leave them there. I don't care if they don't work. Like there's a there's like a thing where people are like, oh, they probably disassembled them for this. I don't believe you. How how <laughs> did, no? You can't tell me that in five years you disassembled a whole camel. <laughs> like you can't. I'm sorry, I you don't believe tell you. Me, you can't tell me that the Gerudo would be like, oh yeah, go ahead and disassemble our sacred fucking lightning camel. <laughs> disassemble Cover the thing that has and greenery the or something. Of our, old, of our old fucking leader in it for your weird fucking technology. I'm gonna it go takes, fucking kill this it takes more than five years to disassemble all of those towers, all of those fucking um, uh, divine beasts, all of the um, uh, the heckin' um, uh, the shrines. No, nobody can tell me that that's what happened. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. I find that unbelievable. <laughs> Don't even like, get on me with that fucking fan theory anymore. Like, again, that's the thing that makes me sad. It just feels like, like, lazy, hand-wavy writing to just be like... I mean, you like, could blow them all up in, like, three months, but disassembling would be a massive project. Hmm. And then there would still be remnants of it, the parts that they kind of couldn't use, or the parts that are like, hey, this is still a very important thing to us. Let's keep it. Maybe there's freaking... Maybe they made like a, a some sort of mounted statue and like freaking the centerpiece is the head of the divine beast. Give me something yeah, to show that they're still there. Even if you there. demolished them, the cleanup would take forever and leave scars on the land. And you again, can't... you can't use absolutely everything. Like there's something that remains. There has to be. What the fuck is this? The worst what part about it is that all of the divine beasts could have... Uh, I'm guessing it's a, it's like a piece bone. of a puzzle around here. Bone. Guessing it's a piece of a puzzle around here for a Korok. It's like a bone. It's just a bone. There's a bloopy over there. Oh, kind of yeah. well. Oh, you have to go to that one. That's a, that's an important bloopy. An important bloopy? Yeah, I need to go down there. Okay, well, I want to know what this bone is for. It's just a bone. You can yeah, but attach it, it to stuff. It probably has a Korok around here for it. Yeah, maybe. Okay, That's let's it. go see this Bloopy then. Are there puzzles that use those? Because I've There's got... puzzles that use everything. <laughs> okay. But, uh, fucking... What was I saying? The, the worst part is, all of the problems that were happening to the people could have been solved by each of the Divine Beasts. Yes. Like fucking uh oh the gibdo are ransacked the sent ransacking this place and fucking uh there is uh like um super like um like storm like sandstorms everywhere 
Camel could have Camel could have solved that. You could have been like, instead of having them completely out of the game, you could have made it be to where like, oh, they're not working and we need to get them to work again so they can solve this issue that we have. It would have made a much more sense, in my opinion, than to do that. And I've again, actually the already other been ones, to this cave. You might have. Yeah, no, because I see the little cave icon with a check mark not that far. Ah, uh, then yeah, never mind. Then you've already done. No, that. but that's okay. I, I like. Did you see me snipe the fuck out of that bloopy though? Oh yeah, <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> just like fucking slow mo, just boop boop boop. The same thing boop, for Meadow. It's like, oh, this there's a fucking weird cyclone up there, and then and, and we can't get up there, and oh, that was it's so bad. It's like, oh yeah, our flying mech could have probably came in handy. Let's turn that on. Like it mm -hmm. could have that that could have been the goal, and then like getting them either turned back on or doing something else with them could have been the goal of the game but they didn't want to do that and it sucks what they were some of the coolest parts of breath of the wild together. it's also that bit of okay zelda team i get it you don't like having to follow a timeline you want to make standalone games maybe don't get up in arms about that in a game that's literally a sequel yeah yeah like Again, it feels like they just... I, and I get it. If you didn't want to make... You don't want to follow the timeline anymore. That, that That's fine. It is what it is. But, no, like, again, this is, this is this is this is specifically a sequel. You This was originally going to be a DLC expansion addition to the story. Why would you go this direction? Why is that... Why did you decide then to d detach it from the first one? We are fine with you wanting to make your own... Make, make oh, games that don't follow the... We're fine with you to not have to worry about uh, making games that don't that don't follow the narrative. That's fine. Whatever. We're, we're fine with that. That's fine. Make us some more Zelda games. We're fine with that. We would love that. But in a game that is a sequel Nicolaya. to another Zelda game, give us some stuff. <laughs> it's Rai. Hello, Rai. Freaking Hello. I. So like so, Linlin. After you went to bed, I hung out with Tia a little bit more with 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 Rai and some other peeps. And Rai is thinking about joining us for a workout on Tuesday or Thursday oh. or Friday. One of the workout days you're thinking about. Who asked? I, well, um, Tia brought up, um, Tia brought up the workout and Tia actually, uh, pointed out that they brought it up to Rai that if they wanted to work out with Good us. Good so goblin. I think Tia. <laughs> Tia, I think it was Tia. <laughs> Good goblin. Yeah. So, Femkim, this oh, yeah. is Lynn. This is the one who usually recruits people for workout. He he he. Gobbling was threatening me with exercise. Yeah, they also they Good. also said you'd 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 uh you'd have an all right time uh socializing with some new peeps and you, we're all pretty we're all pretty cool beans. Unkind bear, hello. It's easy Zelda travels back in time, create a new timeline and things change. And here's the thing, that that seems to be what they're gonna kind of they're kind of leaning in on this time around, because it seems it's very clear Zelda was sent back in time. It's very clear that she was sent back in time, and there's fish there, and I want them. Um, and that's fine if they want to try a new little timeliney split. But like, still, like the divine beasts still happened. They still kind of talk about it when you. I, I know a couple things that happen here. When you go see Sidon, when you go see Riju... Something something Age of Calamity did it better. Yeah, no, Age, mm. of, Cal Age of Calamity had no right having as good as a story of it as it fucking did. It was, it's actually really fucking good. And I honestly think adds more to Breath of the Wild so far than what, Age, um, than what uh, Tears of the Kingdom has added. And again, it That's seems like... That's we need, Age of Calamity too. <laughs> yeah, Electric Boogaloo. How do I... It's, it's even easier than that, though. All they got to do, make a new Zelda game, and as soon as somebody asks, where does this fit in the timeline, just say it doesn't. Zelda says it's not canon, <laughs> and I say don't tell me what to do. <laughs> it's just like, oh, where does this fit in the timeline? Um, uh, where does this fit in the, in, the, in the official timeline, Nintendo? It doesn't. What? It just, it's it's a different thing it. now. <laughs> Means I have to get it somehow. Probably need a boat. Yeah, probably a boat. And it's probably just got, like, rupees in it or something. <laughs> probably, but that, I mean, the chest is still the chest. Yeah. Money is money. Money is money. And you have to buy a lot of shit in this game. Dog! Dog. I don't have a chicken drumstick for it, so it's gonna have to fucking deal. Yeah, I just... I want... 
to goop the the divine beasts together into a haphazard megazord, and they, and they just didn't want us to have that. I can't. <laughs> Nintendo, why won't you let us have the greatest thing in the world? Age of Calamity would have done it, right? Age of Calamity would have done it. You're the Calamity would have done it. I'm sorry that my ideas you. are based. Huh? Okay. Specifically, Emerald is the reason why they didn't bring the, bring the uh, Divine Beast back. <laughs> I like that asshole. We don't want him to have it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, she wait. No, I, hold on. I, I just get a little bit closer. Beast for them. Yeah, hold on. I can get it closer. I, I kind of forget that I can just do this to make things. Like, I'm like, I wish I could get further. It's like, here's a perfectly perfect way to do that. Just do it. There go, just a little bit of ways. They literally give you an ability to combine things in this game, but get rid of the divine beasts so you can't Voltron it up with the super secrets fifth <laughs> beast as the head. There you yeah. Go. yeah. Fuck it, put the, motor, put the motorcycle yes. on the head. <laughs> yeah, no, the motorcycle's yeah. the head. It's the secret fifth divine beast. It literally <laughs> is that. It is literally that. <laughs> Link just, just fucking rides up the back of the four divine beasts that are combining, flies into the air, the uh, jumps off of the of the fucking uh, motorcycle as it forms the Voltron head. <laughs> they literally did timey wimey split bullshit with Age of Calamity, and it looks like they might be doing it again here. Just do it one more time. <laughs> You've already done it twice. What's a third? Exactly. I don't want to go in there. And that entire cut scene would be so freaking hype. Hmm. The like, entire, it, it, again, it, when it really just comes down to it, if they are sick of, like, having to deal with the timeline, just don't do it. Yeah. Just don't deal with it. We don't really, the only people that care. We'll buy it anyway. Yes. We <laughs> we'll are, buy we it buy anyway. The, it's just like, it's it's just like heckin' a Pokemon, a Pokemon game in we'll that in that respect. Like, every time someone complains about Pokemon, like, being Fight giant else, demon like, god Ganon yeah, with it. divine Voltron in a massive <laughs> super boss Kaiju battle. <laughs> yeah, no, give me that. Why couldn't we have Voltron in the first Breath of the Wild? The pig was <laughs> big enough to fucking mount it. Let's fucking, let's fucking go. I thought it was being foreshadowed when I can mount a regular boar. I didn't, I didn't think that. That's, but it would have been fun. <laughs> would have been you guys fun. are all, you guys are all the reasons why this didn't happen. <laughs> it's cool though. <laughs> yeah, because my ideas are good. <laughs> The idea is great. I'm I guess I'm here good. like I'm sitting here like man. I want I want I want the story to not to not fucking um, uh like spoil itself and be. I want a Megazord. <laughs> and then you guys are over here like I want a Voltron. Megazord. Honestly, I'm disappointed that you are not hyped for a fucking Voltron. Like I'm you 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 for it. You're, I... you're you're fucking Power Rangers loving ass. Not rooting for a fucking Megazord. I'm telling Logan. <laughs> I'm fine with I, I would be fine if it was already there but you're telling them to make more shit oh, whenever all they could just there. easily not I would have waited for I don't for understand more. why there's this assumption that Megazord doesn't mean good story oh no I'm yeah. I'm more meaning that I want them to I want them to bring I want them to stop taking out shit and you guys want them to add shit is where I'm sitting at because the biggest problem in uh, Tears of the Kingdom is they took out a bunch of shit that they have models for that would not have been any problem to just throw okay, into the game. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> and then you guys. Oh, I'm like, mostly I'm mostly well, just joking around. We can also make a giant robot. I know you're joking around. <laughs> you mean again? Good mornings. I'm not. A big <laughs> chunk of ruins fell from the sky and hit the Skyview Tower. It well, knocked off the lid down. that covers the hole at the top of the tower. It means the hole at the top is open. That's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck too. Let's see. Maybe if you use the terminal inside, it'll force the door back open. We're kind of stuck. Alrighty. Well, can I just recall this shit? No, you can't. That'd, that'd be, be funny. That'd, that'd be smart. <laughs> that, can I just recall that'd it? That'd be so, so funny. Cool. Oh, a lot of I rats. never even tried that. I never even fucking tried to do that shit. It's like, oh, the top fell. We can't get it back up. Have you tried recall? <laughs> Have you tried recall? No, you you're the only power, one that can do that. Uh, the power that only you have, Sir Hero? Yeah. Uh, you one. could probably get on that rock beside of you and then try to get up there, right? Yeah, no, I saw the rocks falling and I was like, oh shit, dog. Those are delicious. Oh. The big thing in with the them game. cutting out <laughs> the divine beast is that it's removing history, or at least reconning it in what will likely in be game. some kind of timey wimey stuff. 
God, Recall is such a fucking cool ability. No, dogs give you, like, prime meat. It's fucking amazing. Mmm, <laughs> dog. Delicious. <laughs> you don't understand when you I can't carry any more melee weapons? Well, I have all these fucking sticks and unga bunga. I don't need it. Drop this. But like, history is great. Don't get rid of our fake video game history. Mm -hmm. I'm just not, a, yeah, I'm just not down for this fucking... Expand, don't ir... remove. Oh, there's yeah. another one down there. Yeah. I'm not down for this freaking erasure of cultural history. <laughs> I, I the camel curious. is very important to our culture. Don't freaking... <laughs> don't freaking... My culture is not for you to erase. What are we, Catholics? Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? I I am curious though, since we're on about about it on this game in particular. If you were to ever do another Zelda game, would you follow it in the same timeline as the first game, or would you do another like original AU? You know what? It'll be the same fucking. It'll be the it'll be the same fucking timeline, but all the divine beasts are there because they went came to our world. Yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> and then we'll Voltron them. <laughs> Good sir. That would be amazing. <laughs> With the motorcycle. Oh. With the motorcycle, yes. Ah. Fucking, you guys Which are gonna is walk dumb over. Somehow. You're gonna walk over and fucking uh, meet with, uh, uh, meet with, um, uh, uh, heckin, um, uh, Boulder over in the, gr over in the Goron place. Like, yeah, this fucking weird, like, salamander thing appeared on the mountain we don't know why <laughs> yeah it's uh again i'm, I'm it, it makes me kind of sad that they just kind of they it's it's not like it's not like and it, it's not like removing the divine beast would have saved them like space or anything again no. you already explained in the story that they don't work anymore just put them somewhere just put them or just on... leave them where just leave them where they decided to mount themselves. That's where they are now. Yeah. You could say they but harvested they used up some all their fucking power to fight the uh, calamity Ganon and now they're they're down. Well, it's it also And they're seemed... still part of history. Reference them in record. Yeah, reference them in record. They're still parts of history. If you want to explain that oh, like we took bits and pieces of them, there could still be remnants of it where they're like, "Okay, yeah. we've taken enough." This is a landmark. This is still an important thing. We've had this because the divine beasts have been a thing for at least 10,000 years. At least 10,000 years. They're in the old ass scroll when they first used the first four champions. They're there. Yeah. They were unearthed. They're 10,000 years old. You don't even have to put anything on them. Put a Korok on the top of one of the fucking things. That's all you so got to like, do. Yeah, like, oh, you re you decided to climb the giant dead camel. Like, here's a Korok. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> but you don't have to have, you don't have to make the entirety of the inside of it or anything. Just like fucking, no, oh, it like, got yeah, just... full of fucking goop or whatever. You can't get in there. But you climb to the top. There's a fucking Korok. And there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, you're an enemy. Oh hold on. You're not a happy, you're a you're a hurdy. Thank you. Oh, oops. No, it reads you, reads you. Oh, okay. Reads you, calm down. <laughs> there you go. Uh what are these things? Are these uh, I think they're batteries yeah they look like it where are you yeah. going I think you can you can put those on construct thingies and it'll it'll give them it'll mm. give them uh, battery power yeah and then yeah. where does this one go this one I think doesn't go anywhere yeah this one leads to death what's that there's a Korok there oh yeah I think you have to break that don't you yep you gotta strike it down yeah Korok pot just put one of those on the nose of the camel. Yeah, you just have to shoot it. <laughs> or on the trunk of the elephant. Or on the right. balls of the salamander. Put it somewhere. <laughs> oh, wait. That's recall. 
Ultra hand. No. Ultra hand. Okay, game, why do you think I want to attach it to shit? That's stupid. All right. Wait, that's glowing. Sunday lion. All right. Link, get on it. Yeah, you need a shit ton of those. You need to, you need to hold on to all the thunder lines you can ever find. I do love the little Zonai things. It makes my fucking baby brain be happy. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a thing there. Ooh. I do like that Riju can basically one-shot these things, though. Yeah, no, it does help. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's see. So, okay. There's a, there's a so, chest. Yeah, so if I shoot it down, it should be able to just fall. Yeah. I think I am going to go, my dudes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go drink juice and die. <laughs> okay, go well, die. Well, thanks for being here, <laughs> even though you're not feeling too well. Old map. Oh yeah. I, I'm I'm feeling energetic. I just know that I can't change voices, and I know that I can't like mm -hmm. do anything. So, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't want to do anything. I'll probably mm -hmm. like play some games or something later on and during our slot time. I don't know. I'll figure something. I out. mean, if you have to. Just make sure the necromancer has you up again soon. No. I canonically don't like necromancers for reasons. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> I think I actually did like say like in the in the summoner blue lore, it's just like, oh I don't like necromancy. Why? It's too easy. <laughs> we were we were like talking about it like uh during a stream. It's like, oh Mr. Necromancer, oh you brought back this corpse to to, the, to fight for you. Oh, that must have been so hard. <laughs> Just like trying to bully necromancers. Huh. <laughs> Alrighty. I like how I just Clearly that's summoner because versus... he wants to die and keeps getting revived. Chad summoner versus uh, fucking nerd necromancer. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Go for Yeah, Goodbye. you have a good one. Bye. Bam. Take care. Who is that guy? No idea. <laughs> Who is that guy? Some nerd. Ah, uh, there goes my little weird battery thing. Yee. That would be such a silly premise for a dynamic, though. Yeah, <laughs> it is cute. Oh, there's Sunday line. Dazzle fruit. Alright, so this is like a battery. Okay. Now, I don't think there's anything to get back there. Unless I try to climb it. And because there's another railway there Ooh, and that leads to that yeah i might have to do that i can probably use this guy to get me back there let's freaking see i finished one zone i, I at least want to get i've already unlocked a zone and then i do definitely want to get i definitely want to go into the depths <laughs> oh i ran over a darner Yeah, I can definitely climb this stuff. I just can't take my cart with me. There you go. Yeah, how how far can I climb this? Big oh, Titigoth GF is a necromancer and also your ex. You're super competent but also burnt out and depressed. Just want to die but she keeps finding and raising you every time, out of spite. <laughs> 
I forgot you can ascend. Mushroom. Yeah, Doesn't spirit. even assert control, just incredibly passive aggressive about the entire thing. <laughs> Alrighty, let's. Whoop. What's in here? Ah, oh, Sage as well. These are also big titty goth ex You want to die, so she'll that. make sure you live a long, boring life. Yep. <laughs> Okay, I can probably go up. It's easy. Zelda travels back in time, creates a new timeline, and things change. That's easy explanation. Again, and, and it's not like they haven't done that before. That timey-wimey shit happened and the, there's a split timeline or something. Or again, or the timeline in general just changes because of timey-wimey shit. Like, it's fine. You don't have to even, you don't even have to worry about the whole concept of split timelines. It's just, you change the course of time. Done. Like, but it just seems like they didn't want to do that. And that's fine. Hylia Pinecone. It's okay. Just meh. The only thing I don't care much for with the Sky Islands is that it's a little harder to see some shit because everything is like, Tones of yellow. As you know. Um, everything's in tones of yellow and like specks of blue. So everything kind of blends in. Because we don't need more yellow in the yellow area. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's too fucking yellow, man. It's too yellow. All right, that one's a dud. But this one takes us to the shrine. Okay, so we've got our cart here. We've got a battery. We've got a fan. Here we go. All right, so. All right, let's get. Let's get that. Let's get our, no. Give me this. Doesn't matter if it's crooked. All right, give me this. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a Sunday lie in there. Hold on. Give me back. Take me back. Damn it. Oh, we're going. We're moving. We're schmoving. It's slow, but we're schmoving. Damn it. I hate, again, this is why I don't like this terrain. Mm -hmm. I hate this terrain because it's like, it's so hard to see certain things. Fucking, we'll get there. You know what? It'll, it'll be there by the time I get back. It's just, I heard the gloom is fucking annoying as fuck. And yeah, like Deco said, you want to collect the fuck out of those. Yeah. The gloom is a very, very annoying mechanic in this game. Because it's pretty much just true damage. All right, let's do this for real. another chest on a spring up there. Another gotcha. Over there. 
Oh, it doesn't take us immediately there. Is that a Sunday line? Yes. All right, let's see. That's around here. What was that chest on a string? I swear I just saw it. I swear I had just seen it. Oh, there's that Star Island. Yeah, I gotta check those out too. I don't believe you can do anything with them yet. Probably not. I know I just had, there was an NPC that pointed them out. Excuse me. Yes. Alrighty, let's uh... The fuck? Oh! Okay. Kada... Kada Unar Shrine. Okay, we'll unlock this, because we can just teleport back to it later. If we really want to do it. Thundy Lion. I was gonna say, they did add- I was gonna say earlier too, they did add a lot of stuff. They added the sky- like, the sky zone, and they added the- the depths. Apparently, according to Tristan, the depths are freaking huge. Alright, that's a lot of Sunday lines. Okay. What's in this zone I chart? The zone I thing? Alright, batteries, wheels, hydrant. Okay. Big wheel. Batteries. All right, hydrant and batteries. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll frickin' put in a couple of these. Oh, in fairness. Right. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, there's a... There's definitely a... Hang on a hook here. That's gonna be interesting to get. Oh, that tree looks a little different. Okay, what's going on here? Dazzle fruit. Sam bulb. Oh, Sunday lion. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, three batteries. I'll take those. I can ascend back up here through this. No. Yes. Pop. All righty. Swimming so. through the earth like Chuck Norris. Yeah. Alrighty, yeah, those are apple trees. Uh, I can turn that around and launch myself to other spots. I'll probably launch myself up to that tree instead of trying to get to it. Mm -hmm. Well, in enjoy your your tears of the kingdom. Yeah, you head off one now. It's been yeah. nice hanging out. Yeah, you have a good one. It was nice having you here, mm -hmm. Emerald. I'll I'll be checking in now and then on the stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take care. Yeah. Later. Uh, later. See you in the chat. Yee. 
Uh, no, no, no. No. Uh oh. There we go. I don't know what that Korok. How am I supposed to hit that Korok plate? But oh fuck! Get on it! Bam! Oh, it's just an apple tree. No golden apples. That's fine. Alrighty. And there's that star over where there. Alright, there's nowhere else that thing can launch me. It could launch me. Not really much anywhere else. Okay. Probably still make it so that it makes it an easier launch pad to stuff. Okay, I already got that. Yeah, it could launch me towards the star. See if that'll even work. There's a shooting star all the way over there. There's a Gleok over there. Alrighty, what is this? Mammon. It's etched in ancient Hyrulean text, but you cannot read it. Okay. There's a shrine over there. In the stable, too. It looks like a little camp. A cave. Kisinona? Touch. Dog. Someone was definitely here. Mind if I steal apple? No, let that go. Thank you. Oh no, there's people right here. So we thought we found it too. Take to open all those. My arms are tired just by looking at it. Every single chest we open, we find the same thing a green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. What's the matter? Hey, buddy, don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You came to find Misko's treasure, too. Ah, I mentioned Misko's treasure. Misko's treasure? 
could have no sense in hiding it. Miskel's the name of an infamous bandit who caused problems all over Hyrule back in the day. But Miskel's legend expands beyond mere banditry, you see. Misko is equally famous for fashion. The stories say that they spent their lifetime collecting clothes, clothes that are now hidden across Hyrule. We suspect that Misko's wardrobe might be in the caves that were exposed during the upheaval. That's why we're wow. here. And we got here first, so don't start swimming and snatching those duds. Think again. Hmm. Is there any better? Unless you got a nose like a dog's that can sniff out the treasure. Let's give a dog some food and something or something to get it to like us and then it'll lead us to the treasure. Being sarcastic. Alrighty, well let's go see. Miss Go's Cave of Chests. Alright. First things first, since I don't mind particularly using these. Let's light these up. The cave of chests. Luminous stone. Fireproof lizard. Thank you. I mean, I'll take free, free, free one rupees. And then we've got some treasure chests here that are buried. Oh, wow. <laughs> Colorful. And they're probably all singular rupees. That's funny. Yep. And that's why the dog's there. You got to give the dog food so that it'll sniff it out for you. Which that's, that's not going to be hard. I have food, thankfully. Okay, let's uh make it a little easier to see in here. Get a big one. There we go. That's a little bit better. Giant bright bloom. Okay, so let's. Because it's probably. See, all of Misko's treasures are like in this little shriney thing. So what I can do, because I have. I have food. I have well, enough food. I'm giving you some good fucking food, Doug.
There we go. All right, lead me. Watch it not even be anywhere like near those chests. It's all just a red fucking herring. Cause it's gotta dig it up. Dish one. Are you sure? Dish one. Hi, Tia. They were here. No, I am. Why, hello oh, there. 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 There you go. Hello. There you go. Your reactor just wasn't on. There we go. Ember trousers. Boy. I'll take that. I am very fried. Yeah? <laughs> I don't blame you for being fried. Couldn't imagine why. No, me neither. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> no matter how cool it is, so jealous. Our treasure's left in there. You know what? I'm going to look for myself out of the way. One rupee. Treasure, you in there? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh darn, it's just a regular old bottle. Oh. I went to bed at a completely reasonable time, and it was warm and comfy. <laughs> Examine. You who found my These treasure. two, on the other hand. <laughs> he says, strange. I went to bed at a reasonable hour. Don the form of the fierce deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One, but your schedule is unreasonable. What do you mean? It's just third shift. The fierce deity. Yes. He. <clears throat> he he. Again, I stayed up till like four a.m., which for me is very late. But it was Sunday, so because I have Mondays off, it's usually not much of an issue. Mm hmm. But it is very late. It is very, very late for me. But I knew what I was getting myself into. And I still woke up at a reasonable... I say at a reasonable time, but more so with a reasonable amount of sleep. I woke up at 10 and then slept another hour. Doggies. At a reasonable noon. Well, no, I woke up at a little, like, a little bit before 1130, which is still sleeping in, like, pretty badly. But that's still about, like, eight hours of sleep. I know, but saying noon is funnier. Oh, yeah. Oh, he burped. Bird man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, beetle. I think I have a beetle for him. Hey. Also, you get the board? Oh, yeah, the kudo board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, you can have the beetle. I don't care. Uh, I felt like I did it wrong, but then I didn't correct it because fuck it. <laughs> That's the right way. Yeah. Uh, I have too many of these things. I have a lot of... I thought I had more Gibdo guts. What the fuck? I don't. I have a lot of Gibdo bones, though. I'll give you like 40. I have no money. Wow. Uh. Oh! Oh! Lucky Mapno with a stream of eight. Hello and welcome. Thank you for the raid, hun bun. Let me give you a Hemkim shout out. What were you doing? What were you playing, Mapno? This is where I would shout mods, but I like only have like three mods and I don't expect them to do anything. <laughs> so. Hi. Mood. <laughs> Luna, uh, Lunacid? Lunacid? Huh. 
Wait, you know other games exist besides Titanfall 2 and Dark Souls? <gasps> <laughs> oh, I can sell some of these bright these bright seeds. I don't need this many of them. <laughs> I don't need this many of them. I say as I go to explore the depth after this. Shut it, Tia. I recently released out of early access. Oh. Hell ye. Give dough wings. Uh, no, I don't have a lot of those. Uh, what are these? Boss cobbling guts. I have a, um, quite a bit of ember. You want some of these? Hold on, that's too much. Let me give you like, maybe like half. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. I need to break more rocks for like expensive things. Here, you want to, you want some of these? I'll give you half of my opals. Wow. Okay, at least now I have four digits and I don't feel as insecure in my finances. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, money was a lot harder to keep a hold of in this one than yeah. uh, Breath of the Wild. We were we were actually having a whole like conversation, not so much about money, but like. Because one of my gripes is that they kind of, oh, it's that guy, is that they got rid of the divine beasts. And it's like, they didn't have to do that. <laughs> they could have just been glorified landmarks. Yeah, yeah, I, I was complaining about that, too. Like, it just, it, it's that thing of like, because it's like, I, I don't, I can't remember the exact explanation. Because I know in Breath of the Wild, they're like, oh, they stopped working. And it's like, yeah, okay, they stopped working. Um, That means that they should be where they were where they were first left off. I don't know if they explained, like, because they could explain that, oh, we harvested the them, The weird but... part isn't just that they're gone, but that they don't even mention them. Like, they're just not the... and never were a thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I get it. Four years went by or something, it's right? Like five, five years -ish. It's like five years-ish. It seems to be yeah. five years, but... Yeah, but it's like, it's so even, like... If, even if you harvested them, there would still be something left over. Exactly. For them, for it to just not, for there to be nothing. <laughs> and it's like, and even if they did, let's say, tear them apart, it's like they're they're still important, fat like things of their like tribe's culture. Like that's those are those aren't just any old fucking dumb robots. Like, <laughs> okay, hold on. Hmm. But yeah, for them to just kind of, oh yeah, no, they're You'd just gone now. You'd expect some symbolic piece of them to remain with the tribes. Yeah. Okay, this should, this should work. Okay, let go. Uh-huh. I'll let go. Yeah, let go. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Okay. I fucking... I actually don't mind this dude's challenges. I just kind of... They just kind of low-key suck. <laughs> Alright, we can do that. Alright, we're gonna put this against you. We had a good thing going. Want to burn all the signs while he watches in horror? Yeah, I get that. <laughs> well, like, the whole thing is that he doesn't want the thing to fall. And you, so you have to, like, build a gashmoigity so that it doesn't fall. No. No, just, 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 please. 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 Fucking... Pick, pick a thing. So, I'm amused. Yes. What amuses you? Give us your amuse. Share with the class. Both sides of the sign are pushed out a little bit further than the other signs. Yes. One side is pushed out a little further. 
All right. Because my issue wasn't that the, the first time wasn't that the sign was falling. It's that... It's that the sign, like, tilted just slightly to the side. And he was like... Ah! And it was like, okay, sir, like... It's not that it's not that deep, but he's freaking <laughs> out. So we just got to fucking All right. Let go. Let go. Let go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> got to run you have a fun time? Yeah, no worries. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, uh -huh. so I think you can slide one of those square beams in, in between the two signs. Yeah. And then just prop it up. If I had to guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm think. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. So now the issue was. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to like slide it in. Eh. Actually, hold on. Wait. No, I think I can probably slide it in the hole. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, it looks so stupid. How's the president standing? It doesn't matter. Goat glue is where it's at. <laughs> I love how his way of making it stand is kind of worse. Like, well, now you know why it won't stand. You put it on a fucking point. It's not going to stand. I like the idea of malicious compliant. Make it stand, but in a way where no one can actually see it. <laughs> yeah, it's that he needs you to make him a weird... Con like, a weird thing so that it'll stand long enough so that he can secure it. In a way that's kind of low-key worse. <laughs> but, like... It's, it's just funny. Let me just leave that there. Uh... All right, there's a stable. There's a tower over there. Did I already get that tower? No, that's going to that's going to help unlock that area. And Death Mountain's all the way over there. That's quite a ways. A builder who isn't stupid would secure their anchor before attaching the sign. Exactly. Yeah. Need to reach my friend. Where's your friend? Your friend and I got separated. Oh wow, they're all the way over there. Yeah. So tired, I can't move. Well, let's fix that. Let's go. Let's go. We'll just take you the long way. Hold on. I got distracted by the little shiny light. <gasps> I was like, oh, wait. Legend of Zelda Twinks of the Kingdom. <laughs> Twink of the Kingdom. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, where's the green smoke? Where was it? That way? Man, I hope so. I, like, immediately forgot. Do I have tomatoes? Well, I'm wearing a Bokoblin mask, so he'll be fine. Hold on. Where is it again? Hey. Hey. I'm going the wrong way. 
<laughs> Only a little bit. Just a little bit. It's that way. Hold on. Yeah, that way. Yeah, just sherpa, sherpa him over there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just fucking... Uh... Did I see some zone, some zone eye stakes around here? No, I didn't see any stakes. That would actually would have made things really easy. Alrighty, let's see. There's always a way to climb a mountain. Let's just fucking do it. I can just prop you on something real quick. Okay. Perfect. Hey. Okay, where's the smoke? Hey. With just some time and perseverance, you too can deliver a Korok to its friend. Hey, a free chest. There you go. I'll take this. Rocket. That could have been useful. <laughs> yeah, strap, been useful. strap onto the Korok. Just strap it onto the Korok and just fucking launch it. What people do. Yeah, no, I've seen people do some fucked up shit with these little fuckers. I love Korok Space Program. <laughs> yes. Fuck. Alrighty, so let's see. There was a... It's a tower. The other way? I didn't mark it because I was stupid and didn't think about it. Well, okay, well... I think it was... Was it that way? No. It's up there. Okay, good job. I went the wrong way. Good job! Eh. Okay. Yeah, it's up there. Oh! Where's that rock going? Hey, there's my ticket. Yeah, it's that one. But let me get those fruits over there first. Eh, 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 eh. Splash fruit. Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Alrighty. Was Alphos there? Something there. How far high up does this go? It just goes up. Oh. Is that gloom? It probably is. Alrighty. Upland Zorana Sky View. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Fuck's a shit. My gills. Ugh. You there? Please help me. The sledge fell upon me so suddenly. I wish I could wash it if only I had some water. Oh, wait. Just got those little splash fruits. Wait, they're up here. Uh, 
pressurized water. Uh, hold on. This might be a dumb idea, but I want to try it anyway. Uh... Yeah! Alrighty. How shameful that this should happen to me, captain of the guard at Zora's domain. Unbelievable. After the upheaval, that filth suddenly began falling from the sky. It sullied the waters around here and in Zora's domain. Everyone is at their wit's end because of it. That is why I set out to investigate the surrounding area myself, to think I would fall prey to falling sludge myself. Just thinking of it makes my scales bristle. Ugh, my gills still feel so unclean. If you had not sprayed me with Gross. water, I shudder to think what would have happened to me. Please take the Zora spear as a token of my thanks. I'm sorry that it's not much, but it's all I have. It decayed like all the other weapons at the time of the upheaval, but while it is not usable, at least. Huh? You seem to have many weapons in your possession. Make room and I will gift you this Zora spear. What the fuck? You have too much shit. Get rid of something. Okay, fuck. I don't need this torch. Fuck. Alright, give me it. Looks like shit. Alright. <coughs> Hi, puppy. What are you doing? Oh god, both of you are here. Hi. Pompers. They're hiding under my desk. Hey. <laughs> I low-key want a dog, but I want a little one. And Tristan doesn't want a little one. He wants a retriever, and I'm just like, that's not little. <gasps> mm. <laughs> Go middle. Get a yeah. terrier of some variety. Yeah, it's just I just want a little dog. I want a little dog but that it is I can a like, dog. I want a little dog that I can have on my lap whenever it's being a little shit and just pick it up and be like, "Hey, stop it." <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't know. I've I've had like large dogs. Like I had like <clears throat> the bulldogs and we've had like his um the retriever that is his uh sister's service dog. And like again, I love retrievers. They're very, very sweet and smart dogs, but they're just they're big. Good a pibble. Look how doofy this one is. A pibble? <laughs> Written on my husband. Dang. Oh, they're so cute. That's another thing too. It's like I do like fa I do favor bulldogs, but they're they're an expensive breed to upkeep. Yes, they are, and a deeply unhealthy one. Yes. But I can't help that face. That face is so fucking cute. I shall ball. What's that ball? Rotate. Rotate. What is this ball? Okay, well, it's a ball. I'm not gonna make it to that island. Nope. Oh. Oof. Is that Zora's domain? That is the domain, isn't it? Yep. Not planning to go to the domain, but here I am, I guess. I kind of forget that the domain's on this side, like just a little bit under the Gorons. Mogwalk Shrine. <gasps> Crab. Crab. Place smells the other like thing I still can't fix. I can't hmm? figure out is like where did all the original shrines go? Yes, they made it. I think they made it. They they taught. They mentioned that again. They took apart all this stuff, but like, okay, so like, where's the remnants of it? Like, mm -hmm. you, how did how did you clean all that up? 
I can delete that pin. I already caught that. Like That's again, exactly it just... a high yeah. density area full yeah. of people at this stage. So like the hell. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty. So I think it's around here there was actually a glyph that I want to check out. I do like when you go to the like air the new like the the main areas that you have like a more twisted version of their themes. I really like that. I really liked it with Rito Village. How it just had that like very bleakness to it. Um to kind of like signify the storm. But yeah, no, I'm just like, where is Vometo? Like, Vometo can just be there covered in, like, covered to shit with snow. Like, it's fine. But I want to see it. Okay, I already put a pin on that one. There's another shooting star. They really like to show me those. Um. Oh, wait. I have to. Southern Elden. I have to launch myself. Hot! Hi, Pope Badger. Look where the holes are. Also, hello, Squeaky. Yeah, we're all doing pretty good. We're just chilling out. Okay, the glue. No, I'm not trying to I'm suck your toes, but hey, pretty girl, I'm sucking toes. The way you do the things you do reminds me of me sucking your toes. That's why I'm all up in your toes. Ew. Thanks, Pope Badger. Thanks for the redeem. <laughs> Look at that glyph that totally does not look like a Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure if that was the glyph that I saw, but I don't see any other one. And it is in fact a glyph. Now it's just a matter of, is it activated? Yes. Yes, I can do this one. Yo, memory time. You're giving me lots of good luck. Am I? Also, welcome back, Thatha. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. We got her That's perpetual it. wind machine. I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? I just got a super yes. rare costume for my Whatever favorite character, Nagacha. Hell yeah! I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on. Oh, and that's how we get it back. Hmm. Do you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. <laughs> to put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. Mm -hmm. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. Mm -hmm. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means... If you don't already know how to get yourself home... It's not fucking gonna help you. There are stories about the secret <clears throat> stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. 
one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution, some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Oh, back where we started. But there's still hope. I and no ear twitches! Problem lies in study. And learning more about the nature of your power. Ah. Uh -huh. His little ear I'm twitchies sure were so cute. Fucking love Daddy Rauru. <sighs> okay. Alrighty. Kim Kim Glyph. So then, map. Alright, and that's the south of Elden, which was where Impa told me to go. Okay. Uh, we've got a shrine here. We've got the shrine in the domain. We've got, a sh I think, two shrines in the sky. And we've got all around here. There's a pin here that I guess I did not get. Okay. Where do I want to go next? What about the sky? Let's uh let's get these shrines out of the way. These will give me orbs. These will give me orbs, which means I can use them for stamina and or hearts and or other shit. Because I'm show hemkim squishy. Show hemkim squish. And that's usually good in some cases, Correct. but not in all cases. I'm I'm too hemkim squish. I also need to honestly fucking check out the fairies. I don't like that the fairies are like you can't just find them and like do the thing with them. You have to fucking I I talked to the fucking little boy with the flute and now I have to go back to the great fairy fountain and maybe see if he'll play the flute for her so that I can get her to upgrade my shit. They made upgrading freaking things, I feel, a little bit harder. Before, you just had to pay them. Water makes a way. Kuna, kuna, blah, blah, blah. Alrighty. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh. Uh. This is like Minecraft. All righty, sweet. That's probably a hydrant I could have used. Alrighty. Can I break this? Yeah. And then we can continue on forward.
Yo, this is just like Minecraft. It's amazing. Okay, we can stop. All right. That's probably too much. But that's okay. Because I have figured it out. Have them. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Bring this closer. I didn't want to do that, but I did it anyway. We're going to keep that there for a bit. We'll be right back. Okay, one second. when those all detached, but they did. All right, wait. So what gotcha was it and what, uh, what costume was it, Sasa? Was it Star Rail and Orgenshin? I have no idea if they have new outfits for characters. Or was it like Nike or something? I don't play a lot of gacha games, so I don't actually know what's out there anymore. All right, I think that's everything. Heck yeah. Okay, that was actually pretty brain dead. I like that, that was brain dead. Uh, four? Okay, that's... Do I want a heart? Do I want a stamina wheel? Mmm, I'll wait. Oh, the costume gotcha for Cookie Run. Oh. How long has Cookie Run been going? Kind of weird to consider that I know people that have done voice work for Cookie Run. Alrighty, so that's four. And then one, two. There's a shrine down there. What time is it? 7 50 a.m. Uh it probably wouldn't hurt to get some Vo armor, honestly. I have the money for it. 
Oh, do I want to do that, though? No, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, let's go to this one, then. Let's just get these shrines out of the way. Then let's find a, fa a great fairy. Then let's go into the depths. I've been wanting to go into the depths for like three streams now, and I just never do. I get distracted by everything else. There's just so much that goes on in this game. Cookie Run Oven Break, Cookie Run Kingdom, and then the new one they're doing for Facebook VR game. You know what? If the if it's if the franchise is doing well, fucking good on them. Who am I to judge? Alrighty. The power of water. Okay. All right, this is just up there. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Oh. Hmm. Sadly, wasn't able to stitch. Get stitch cookie during it. Oh. What's this? It's a big battery. Hmm. Oh. Can put this here? No? Hmm. So I gotta... Alrighty, we're probably considering the conductivity of water. Alrighty, what's this doing? First off, give me that. Yep. Magic scepter, long mysterious magical rod. It's said to have been wielded by an ancient magician who awoke the latent power of gems. Okay. Uh, let's get this going. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so I'm guessing if I attach a gem to it, it'll do something. All right, so what do we want here? What are we doing here? Oh, I see. That took me a hot second. Holy shit. And then let me... No, not this. Good enough. Alrighty, now what? All right, we turn that on. Go up here. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I know now. Back in the water. I intend to gotta charge the battery. Yeah, you gotta give it juice. And then you gotta fucking put it in here so it'll it'll do that. 
And then you move the ball. Uh. I cannot go in that water now. Uh. Okay. I think I see what I need to do. Okay. I think me sees. Come here. Gives me a good amount of time, so let's... Alrighty. Hopefully that holds back the door. And then... Damn it. Oh. Or... We use our... Oh. Okay. No. Eh. I've used my brain. I have now used my brain. My brain has activated. Bring this back here. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, chest move. There we go. An opal. It's probably not going to close now that I got the chest. Let's get charge it again. Lol, it's upside down. All right, so now this has got some juice. God damn it. I've got to plug it into that. But I got to get in it first. All right. Brain dead. Done. Uh, am I hungry? No, I'm not. No, I ate like three hours ago. Four hours ago, actually. 
four. Holy shit. All right, next shrine. I think when I was exploring around, I think the thing that really was like disappointing was going back to where like the Shrine of Resurrection and it's just a hole. Just a hole with nothing in it. It's just been left a bare shell of its former self because fuck you. That made me sad. Wind power. Alrighty. I see fans. I see propellers. I see a chest up there. Alrighty. So what are we doing? This is not a propeller. This is a thing. Okay. Not just that. Okay. Oh. Okay, fuck. Oh, yeah. My brain understands now. Is that another fan? Or is it just these? Alrighty. How do I? <coughs> hmm. Definitely need to get all the propellers spinning. I don't have any other fans. I know I have. Well, I have some in my inventory. But I don't think I can stick more to this. So. Yes. You see how you had the fans attached there? Yeah. Do it on the side of the fan. Do it on the side of the fan? Yeah, you don't have to put them flat faced on there. You can just attach them sideways. Like rotate the fan 90 degrees. And then put it back on. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Oh. Then I just okay, do the same with the other side. Yeah, I gotta do the other one. Eh. Because you can't access your inventory. Yeah. Or at least you can't access, like, your Zonai tool inventory, can you? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, I don't think they'll let me use 
The point of the trial is that you use what they give you. Hey, okay, attach. All right, let's do this again. This feeling. Okay, no, I see what's wrong. <laughs> eh. Eh. Wah. There we go. This should do it. Yeah, there we go. Now what I want to know is how I get up there. But I know how. But let me stop this. <laughs> eh. Because it fan. Mighty construct. Uh, ah, drop it. Okay, you can stop now. Waste electricity. There we go. Hi, Red Panda Cola. How are we doing today? Hope you're having a good one. I think that's all the shrines that I've found so far. So now let's go find a great fairy. I know I found her and I can't remember where, but I did find her before. Spike shields. Alrighty. There's a shrine all the way up there. That's a ways. Uh, let's see, where was... Where did I find that great fairy fountain? I feel like I... Did I not put a fucking token on it? Was it here? No, that's that whatever is here at the great plateau. Did I not fucking mark the great fairy? Uh, It's got to be by a stable, though. The breach of demise... I know it's by a stable. What's this? Lucky Clover Gazette. Rito Village. Hepra Mountains. Pico Pond. Pico Pond Cave. Woodland Stable. Minishi Woods. Zello. Trilby. Was there one? No. Riverside Stable. Forest of Time. Outpost Ruins. Lake Colomo. Ah, why didn't I mark it? Flora. Lake Flora. Lake of the Horse God. Highland Stable Well. Lake of the Horse God. I've not gone there yet. That's not where I wanted. That's I don't want to do that. <laughs> Highland Stable. Ah, oh, where was the Great Fairy? She has to be by the well. She has to be by one of these. So I'll just check. A sh I'll check every place, every stable. Then, God, oh, Ken, damn it! I would have. I feel like I would have marked those, but I guess I did not do it. That is on me. It's not like they're hard to see, so I just have to look around. The what? Fairy fountain. Ah. Oh, it's Kilton. There's a Gleok over there. We don't have to. We we don't see it. 
I'm gonna pretend I didn't see it. Nope, it's not real. It's not real. You can't hurt me if I don't believe in it. Exactly. Oh. Hey, Riju, you know it would be really funny? Well, not Riju. It's over there. Oh, that's the shrine. Okay, you know it would be really funny, Riju? Hear me out. This is a great idea. First off, you even get that far. Okay, Riju. Mm -hmm. Is there another one? Yeah, there is. Perfect. Hey, can you do it again? Damn it. That works too. We're good. Chop. Oh wow, I don't have anything good. Uh, here, this is gonna break. There we go. Give me all of this. Nothing good here. Give me all of this. Give me that. We got a little cooking pot. That's cute. Uh, let's not touch those. I don't want to touch those. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I'll touch this. Gnarled wooden stick. Made by honing a dried branch with a proper thickness and length. Its attack powder's power is much greater than that of a normal stick. Interesting. Alright, Kilton's all the way over there. I don't really need anything from him. Oh, hey, a stall horse. Hold on, I gotta take a picture of that shit. Wait, just out above the... What? Yeah, there's just two of them, right there. The hell? Yeah, two of them. Yeah, just a fucking stall horse. Hey! I'm gonna go get one. Hell yeah. They're usually pretty chill. They're usually just like, oh, hey, what's up? Get some Breath of the Wild, they were. Mm hmm. Hey. No, where are you going? Hey, yeah, pet. Pet, pet. You're so good. Where are we going? What are we doing? Where are we going? Stop it. 
Stop. Be good. Oh, here we go. A. Well, horse, well, maybe if you didn't freaking go up down the hill when your programming tells you not to. <clears throat> Damn it. Sure. It's like, no, I don't want to go up there now. What do you mean you don't want to go up there? You went down here. God darn it. It just kind of dookied itself into a corner. Well, I'm getting off. Get over here. It's like I can register it anyway. Where's the other one? It's up there. Can you get the one that's hopefully not stupid? Where's the stable? Let's go. So good. Such a good boy. Well, I actually can't assume what you are anymore. You're you're just bones. None of that. Think of the glue potential. <laughs> so much glue. Let's get back on the path. Or, uh, how do you also, get back? I'm surprised to the horse isn't burning up in the daylight. Yeah, I think it's like once you ride it on, it's like kind of just chilling out. All right, how do we get down? He's like, no. It's like, okay, ah. Up, oh, no, there he goes. There he goes. He is despawned. Rude, though, to kick me off like that. That's not nice. All right. Well, no fairy fountain. <laughs> no fairy fountain by this one. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi, Zara. How we doing? Oh my gosh, she's a squeaky. I wish I had that many arrows. I'm a bow-only person. I'm constantly running out. Oh yeah, I only discovered apparently you can listen to audiobooks with a premium Spotify account but without having to buy them, but not like all of them. Oh. I didn't know that. Okay. Hi, hi, Zara. Hello. Don't worry. I'll make, Lin I'll make sure that Lynn's not See late. See you in an hour. Yeah, I'll make sure that freaking Lynn's not late for ultimate. Wait, where is a stupid... Is there a fairy around here? There's a Gleok over there. Another one. There's a Satori tree over there. Can't see shit. So it's not here. Mm. It's gotta be in one of these right. close by. Hmm? I gotta get my ass in gear. Yeah? I will get stuff done? Yeah. I'm very... <laughs> I'm having a... I'm having a... I'm having a day where I'm like, well... If I was to clean off my kitchen table, I could set up a camera and do, like, Legos. There's a, that's the thing for today. And that would be super low energy. So I have to actually go clean off the kitchen table and make room for it. Oh. Ugh. And then figure out cable runs and shit like that. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, of course. It was fun <laughs> having you here, though. For all the side note, lack trying out the Fall Guys event. I know, I know, off topic, but anyway, I tried it, and a lot of these maps just can't be done with any sort of reliability if your internet is bad. Oh, yeah, no, I've heard complaints that, like, if mm -hmm. your ping sucks, then, like, you're just not going to have fun with it. There are people that are, like, in areas where the ping is better and have better internet and are able to cinch it. But if you have shitty internet and bad ping, it's just, you can't. Whether it be that you're not able, there it is, whether you're not able to get the right timing on the mechanics 
or you're just not fast enough because of lag. It's just, it's yeah, not fun. I get hit by stuff I'm nowhere near all the time. Yeah. Oof. So, and like, thankfully, just playing gets you 50 of the thing, but because of the ping issue, it's just, you're you're not gonna really ever that's your only choice to gather the points to get the stuff and that sucks but yeah apparently I haven't even logged in to go do it yet apparently Oof. well you've got till the end of the year uh, apparently the western servers um have better ping um and then yeah you just have to also have good internet it's normally only an issue in high end but now it's an issue for all it def echoes a larger problem with snapshotting in the game Yes, as well as there's also people who have made like plugins to help you cheat and tell you like what like which mechanics are going to activate and shit. And it's just like, guys, really? We're fucking Fall Guys? I think I'm not going to renew my uh, sub then because my net sucks. Well, again, it's only just for that Fall Guys event. Like you can have like pretty shitty internet and still be able to have fun with the game. Lynn's proof of that. And still do really good like damage and stuff. Lynn is proof of that. Yeah, it's just when it comes to this specific event, for some reason, if you have shitty internet and you're just in the certain location from the servers, you're just not going to have as much fun. It's not going to be as easy for you. People are taking Fall Guys really seriously for some reason as well. They're taking it way too seriously. You're just a monster who's after my blessing. The world outside my butt is filthy. Don't try to deny it. It's true. My older sister Tara told me. Even the music I love is gone and only until I hear the sound of a flute. All right, only the sound of a flute. Okay, I think I, I, I know I did the quest with the little flute boy, so he should be here. Where are they? I make it through round one pretty consistently. But round two is just a bunch of timing mechanics, which means no low pings allowed. Mm-hmm. Woodland Stable and Elden. Okay, they're in Elden. Oh, hey. Has to get the rumors, too. Most folks will take it one look at this weather and call it a day, but not you. You're the real deal. I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Oh, so you're also a reporter. I've had just a strange, um, I just had a bit of a strange experience is all. Yeah. You see, I was by the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life was in danger. It would only make worse to reveal who she is. But please, you must save her. That's what she told me. The woman sounded really desperate, so I decided to follow her. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Hey, partner. Does something strike you as odd about the person's what? identity can't be revealed? And it's revealing who she is to strangers is dangerous. Could she be someone of great importance? And if her life is already in danger, well, combining these facts makes me wonder if this isn't actually a peculiar important bad, 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 Yeah, I can't read. I can't be sure, but of course, I can't. I, wow, I can't read in that voice. <laughs> I can't read. My brain goes too, like, my Stealth IQ gets too low. bread came in and mugged Tia or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will say silver, li silver lining is hopefully they fix their gross snapshotting now and try to fix it. Yeah, no, seriously. That's the nature of limited time events. Hi, Tolerath. How we doing? Hello and welcome. There's only one way for us to know what, uh, for sure, though. We'll have to pack away at this news and see what the truth is. Now that I'm thinking about the whole thing again, why was the woman staring so hard at my hair? How strange. The beckoning woman. Okay, that's a side adventure. Woodland stable. And Elden. So I've already got that stable, right? That's this one, right? Woodland stable. Let's go to that one then. Okay. The performers are there. I need I need the, the little fuck with the flute to come over here and play his doot doot so that the fairy will be happy because she's being a fucking neat right now. I'm about to take a bat to my internet. Still can't believe that Super Mario RPG remake got leaked and people are already streaming it. It got leaked? the fuck it already got leaked how oh, well how far how close to release was it there we go ah oh, but you're not 
Mind going through details correct? What happened last night when the great fairy hid herself away? We had our accident here on Alpha after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby, vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to perf or perform uh, to performances or us. Streaming an illegally obtained copy of an unreleased game is a whole new level of stupid. Yeah, at least oh, no one was yes. hurt. But since that night, the Great Fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the Great Fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic incident without much of an apology. Whatever reason the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. But then Breezer broke down. We can't transport a small troop or our instruments there. Long and a Nintendo woman. one, no less. Yeah, no, Those seriously. streamers will never be heard from again. <laughs> Shit. Perfect timing. Sorry to bring you on Sunday, but we have work to do. These fine musicians, great fairy, mysterious blonde woman, maybe Princess Zelda, the great fairy. Asking the right questions, good kid. You make a decent reporter yet? I guess there's one around here too that I just, yeah, there is. Looking up those hills, see that big plant in the distance? That one that's spotting the pretty stuff? That right there is a flower bud where the great fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical troupe, and that's why she moved near the stable recently. A great fairy who loves this troupe for music performance? That alone is something worth looking into. With their blessings, your presence is essential to the stable. Hope we can help her soon. But Breezer is broken. We don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. Okay, well I can fix... I can fix this. What the fuck is this sign? Why do I never notice this red ass sign? <clears throat> Goron City. Oh, okay, that's why. Um. Okay, well, you just need wheels. That's fucking easy, stupid. I can, I can do that. I can fix it. I can fix him. I can fix him. I can fix him. <laughs> maybe maybe you can't maybe you can't fix him <laughs> no I can fix him okay alright 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 I am gonna go get my go get this shit done so yeah. Hey, have fun, y'all. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. All right, we need a horse. Towing harness. Well, shoot. Pony points. Pull a wagon. All right, pony points. Well, I have a horse. But hold on. Do you guys want to acknowledge the fact that I fixed your wagon? I'll take you. Wouldn't want to get left behind. All right. Was heading out to feed critters. Heard Tia leaving. Ran back. And hear the disconnect as I get here. Yeah. Okay. Razor Shroom. Mm, I found ponies that like drag things, but. Do I? Oh. Oh. Mm. You want to help me out over here? the Malania bed. Melania, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. It makes it a very popular choice. Only customers at least seven pony points can use the bed. Okay, well, I don't have it. Where can I spend pony points? Points and rewards. Your pony. I you need one point. Yeah. 
Uh, yes, I'll be right with you. Cool. Like to get the pony point reward. You just save up one more point, you receive a towing. I don't even fucking have one! How do I... About pony points. Every time you stable services. Staying inns and registering horses. Okay. Well, I gotta pee anyway, so I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna go BRB screen. It's gonna be really short. to say whichever store broke the street date rule is gonna change huh real fault with the store that broke the street date rule huh also hi sketchy how you doing yes our horse scroll adventure i guess is gonna be beginning because i need to get that great fairy <sighs> okay i gotta find a horse we don't have krung lord mm. i had like a bajillion horses back in freaking breath god damn it all right, gotta find a horse. Okay, gotta find a horse. I have to remember that they're here. I gotta go to the woodland one, okay. Uh, Central Hyrule, this close to stable, the outskirts. I think this one has horses by Whistling Heel. All right, let's get a horse and fucking register it, I guess. This is how the RPG leak happened. The store sold it early and then a person said, then said person did a ROM dump. Yeah, okay, that's what you mean. I get you now. God, it fucking sucks though. Not that it super ruins it for everyone because it's like the best way you can just avoid the issue is just to not watch those streams. But it still just fucking sucks. Hi, hi, going well, vibing while having some coffee. How goes the adventure? It goes well. Chief here, Goddard, was going to meet them when learning the recipe. One that Princess Zelda taught them. The range is a perfect setting for a prime story. My keen reporter instincts won't let me leave this alone. Goddard has been over there waiting for the guests to arrive. He's barely moved this whole time. Mm. Let's see. It's not unusual for guests to decide not to show up, right? Guess what if they're unable to? They were coming to share a recipe from Zelda's Princess Zelda, too. Oh. They could be part of this. The trips and warbles are worth looking into. Okay, well, I don't want to look into that. I want a horse. It's time for Link's horse adventure, and I need a horse for that. If I don't, then we're gonna freaking be sad. Because apparently, Krunglord isn't good enough for this. I don't remember what Krunglord looks like, though, not gonna lie. Let me use the stable real quick and rest, because I, I fucking hate this rain. <laughs> I borrow a horse. Hi. Ooh. Do I want to lodge with us? Yes. Regular bed. You need to use a sleepover ticket? You won't get any pony points. No, I'll pay. Yeah, till morning. Krunglord is a great name. Yes. Squeaky, is that a pot stuck to your back? No, it's a mirror. Also, hi, Kojin. How are we doing? Also, B Bridger's broken. Ooh. Also, just because I can. Hold on. Quack. 
Okay. Let me fix a uh, V Bridge real quick. Hey, sketchy. <laughs> I said I only promised that in my stream we wouldn't call you cute. I didn't say I wasn't gonna shout you out. <laughs> All right, looks like you got some points. Look out landing is recruiting. He got me there, exactly. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Like to get your pony points. Three, your award for three points is a towing harness. All right, harness is a type of horse gear. Instance, wagon or item. They about two more points. The horse god fabric. One of a kind item you can bring to the Hateno top to die. Alrighty. I just need a horse. I do love the idea of a mirror shield. Just hit him with a no you. It was useful um, with one boss to use it because you do a lot of light reflecting. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, it actually works when it's sunny. Yeah, like this. See? And then you could kind of Can kind of do that but it's not very good defense wise oh hold on that might be my ticket to get a good vantage point eh. it was that one wasn't it god i hope so i don't see any horses okay hold on they used to ride these babies for miles This should hopefully give me a good vantage point of some horses. If horses are around here, I don't think there are. There's a big ass hole over there. The biggest goal in this game is to rewind a sky stone and just bonk someone with it. That would be funny though. All right, I don't see a horse here. Hmm. God damn it. I find a horse before found a horse before, but it was a goddamn stall horse. You can't register those. They don't like it when you do. These are really big open plains and not a single horse. Okay, they might be by another stable. All right, not this one. Okay, another place, another stable. Now, uh, maybe a, maybe a North Hyrule plain? Horses, I know they're somewhere near the new Serene stable. I don't know if I've found that one yet. I know that there was a stable that I found that had horses nearby. And they're usually in, generally in plain near areas. So it's just remembering which one. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. There might have been some around here. Yeah, there's some right there. Easy. Now I know that the ones with patterns and speckles and all that shit aren't as good as the ones that are a solid color. At least that was the case in Breath of the Wild. All right, check that cave. I need a solid color horse. That one looks weird. It looks like a Rorschach painting on it. No. Yeah, that's what I heard. I don't know if it's actually true. 
But solid color horses are better. So that horse right there is what I want. Also, let me take a picture of it. For the compendium. Why not? Yeah, so that creamy horse right there is probably the best one. It's over there. Oh, the goblins. Bodies are simple, solids are stubborn. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so this one doesn't have a lot going on. Neither does this one. This one's not that great either. I mean, I just need a horse. It's not like I'm going to really utilize it. So where's the creamy one again? I didn't want you to do that, Riju. Kind of weird I don't have to soothe them. All right, let's go. Riju, you don't- you mean Pikachu? <laughs> no. ZL. There we go. New Serene Stable. Okay, this is the new Serene Stable. Next reward, one point. Now, then again. Oh, yeah, I think if, if you talk to them, they give you a pony point. I don't know, man. Now, how can I help you? I want to register it. You want to register? Huh? Where do our books? You entrusted a horse to us once before. I just... Go ahead and register any horse that had your name on it. Come talk to me later if you want to take them out. Now, then, once again... What the fuck you mean I already had a horse? Yeah, sure. Huh. You got a special promotion going on. You can register your first horse for free. We'll just take one of your pony points. Uh -huh. Oh, looks like you got some points saved up, Link. You want to get your reward? Step on the side counter. Blah, 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 blah. Please enter a name for your fucking horse. Uh... Oh, fuck. Baconator. There you go, Baconator. You sure you want to name this horse Baconator? Yes. <laughs> I want to name him Baconator. Uh, do you want to take it with you? No, board it. Do you have Lord in there? Take horse. Yeah! What the fuck? You had them this whole time! You had Matilda, Kronglord, and Licorice. What the fuck? Look at Kronglord. What the fuck? I, I, that's what I was like, wait a minute. I thought you fuckers had my fucking horses. What the fuck? You and your names. <laughs> oh, you're right, witchy. Yeah, give me a fucking pony point, you asshole. Horse God fabric. Looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Oh. Uh, near the dye shop to use a new fabric. I'm sure you can put this. If you say more two points, you'll be able to use the Melania bed. Okay, sweet. All right. All right. So then if I can use a fucking horse, then take me back here and give me my goddamn horse. You still have to catch one yourself before you can access your Breath of the Wild horses. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Fucking okay, cool. 
<laughs> Alright, where's the stable? Take my horse. Yeah, so Licorice has pretty good stamina and pull, and the bond's almost there. Uh Krung Lord has also really good. They're they're pretty much the same. And then Matilda is the white one. Matilda's the 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 like the the like the royal one. And then you we all know Bacon Eater. Um Bacon Eater's gentle. Matilda. Let's get Krung Lord though. Krung Lord's yes, give me Krung Lord. Are you some imported ones? Are you, are your imported ones any of the three special horses? One of them is the royal horse. All right, yeah, attach a harness. Do you have one of the three? Yeah, one of them is the Zelda one. One of them is Epona, which I think you get from the amiibo, and the other one's Ganondorf's horse, which you got to do a thing for. Whistling. Yeah, I know what a whistle is. Okay. Okay, Krung Lord, come follow me. Look how good he is. And look, I put flowers in his butt. He's so good. Okay. Come here, Krung. Come here. Good boy. Krung Lord is the bestest horse. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be over here. Over here, Krung. Is good baby, yes. The most beautiful. The bell of the ball. Alright. Okay, hold on. Okay, come on. Okay, maybe I have to just move the cart instead. Oh, wait, it didn't fucking. Okay. I gotta reattach the goddamn wheels. God damn it. Where are the wheels? Give me another wheel. All right. Okay, guys. Get on. All right. Okay, where is she? Up there? All right. Let's go, Krung Lord. Loki horses are still kind of hard to maneuver in this game, and I'm not a fan of it. All right, we'll take it from here. All righty. The other one wants to hear a flute. What does this one want to hear? I don't think I've ever talked to her. See what she wanted. She probably just wanted to hear the violin. They like cruise control on roadways.
You had to get this fairy just before you can get the others. Oh, that's fair then. Behold, Violin! Ah. <laughs> the great fairy graces us with her presence. Ah. Truly divine. Ah. Oh, look at this! You really helped out! Well, the, 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 uh, the person that plays the violin is called Violin. <laughs> violin. <laughs> well, look at this! You really helped out here, partner. I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. So this is a great fairy. I like her. She's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I, ah, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had felt some, I had a feeling something just wasn't right. In the deep dark of the night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. That's how much of these fairies violate Link. Did you hear the story of the guy who played this game when it came out and his neighbors reported him to the landlord due to the sounds the great fairy makes when leveling up your equipment? Huh. It should have been me. I've never heard that. Huh. I think our reporting work might be taking for a darker turn. On the bright side, the great fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing and get this news written up for the paper. Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Barton, you did quite well to get such results on your first time out. Well, I'm feeling a little proud of myself. Here's the start to an old egg nest. Thanks for the rupees. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. Okay. I'm going to take this star and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every word. Now suddenly, I sound like Christopher Walken. If he was a used car salesman. Is <laughs> he didn't upgrade armor enough then? No. Oh no, well like, I, I did upgrade armor enough. I just, I don't think the noises are inappropriate, I guess. I don't know. Maybe from Link, not from her. Maestro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. Violin! It wasn't that at all! Why, you move the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other great fairies also are hiding away in their buds. Oh, wait, that's her. I bet if you, I mean me, we play music for them, that'd cheer them up too. A brilliant idea! And you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop, the Stable Trotters. Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for just now, but oh, you just wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Now that it's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Alrighty. Okay. All the voices are headphones only. I was about to return to my spring and its sweet serenity, but then I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across the land, you know. You will find the sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Oh, awesome. Misha is near the stable in Hebra. Kesa is near a stable in Hyrule Field. Kotera is near the stable in West Nakluda. Mm -hmm. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the Muse troop, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find the other buds, can you talk to my sisters? And while you're here, how about I enhance oh. your clothes? Power available, I can do just mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay. I was going to say, I should be able to enhance a lot of these. Why is this? I wonder why that's blue. Okay, well, I can do a lot of these. So we're going to do a lot of enhancing. As far as I know, it's the same thing, too. Special bonus when you wear them. Not every set, mind you, but some. Gotta find Drumare, Guitaro, and Piana. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
There is a flute. There is a flute one, and we did fix, and we did, um, we did, we did his little quest to get him back. It's just now he's at the stable. Okay, let's enhance everything we can right now. Enhance away. Get more fairies and make more upgrades to armor to really see what the fairies do to Link. Oh no, I know what they do. They reuse the animations in Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I know what they do. Like, at the, at the very maximum, they drag Link down into the flower with them. But I also know what they look like under the flower because I have the... I recently got the, the art book. So, it's not like they can actually do anything with him, but... It's still funny to think about. Like, I know what they do to him. <laughs> it's not a secret. I've played Breath of the Wild. And I definitely and upgrading in Breath of the Wild was, in my opinion, a little bit easier to start doing. Um Oh, I always assumed they were mermaidy. Yeah, no, they are. They kind of are. They actually are kind of mermaidy. They have like their bottoms are kind of a like a like a twisted flower bud. Like they they don't really they have like mermaidy like bottoms. Perfection, almost too beautiful. Alrighty. Alrighty, that leaves that one. Okay, so there's one. There's one there. And then there's one here. So let's go to this one and let's see if I can. Let's see if we can heck and make her happy and like do that. And then we'll go down a chasm. I swear we're going to go down one. If there is a hole, there's a goal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> With consent. <sighs> I left Kong Lord there. Oops. Um. Yeah, you did. He he might be in the stable though. If I go too far away, I think they re-register him back in the stable. Hey, there we go. There's a little flute boy. Piper. His name is Piper. Hey, can you get me Krunglord? Take. Yeah, okay. They automatically board him if I go too far away. Give me Krunglord. Just whistle and he will come. Yeah, but he was. I was way too far away. Uh, it's fine as is. Oh, it's you. Listen to this. Piper's here. Our flautist Piper has made his triumphant return. And who, who knew how smitten Piper really was? Not I. Affairs of the heart are something I've yet to experience firsthand. Well, anyway, the return of Piper's delightful flute has revitalized the stable trotters. We're ready to make some music. But I'd better save some energy for the performance and not fritter it all away with chatting. Uh, are you out of here out of concern for the great fairy? Yes. Alrighty. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. The sound of a flute. The road's blocked by some rocks that tumbled from the sky. I thought maybe we could drive over it, but we did make it halfway. But the horses were up. No horses can get past it, and our jaunt took its toll, alas. Alright, so then what do we do? Poor Breezer, the indispensable sixth member of our has broken down yet again. Without it, our hearts won't be able to blah blah blah. Oh. Thankfully, Piper has returned. I'm just so worried it can't without a usual flare. Alright, serenade to Kesa. So I've got a... <laughs> I think I know how to get up there, though.
This is like all terrain wheels. Ah, fuck. They're on wrong. They're on wrong. Oh no. Okay, so no horse will get. Ah, oh, fuck. So hold on, let me board Krong Lord, because if no horse is going to get past, then. What armor did you upgrade? I upgraded everything I have on me. So right now my current stuff's a little bit better. Uh, I can probably take these off and put on my Hylian trousers. And I like using my Bokoblin hood, but you actually can't upgrade it. Um, I've been just wearing it for funny because <laughs> I think it's funny. But if I have this, I have better defense and I can't upgrade this at the moment. Because I don't think I have the materials. But I upgraded everything I could. So when we go back to the Great Fairy... When we unlock that Great Fairy, I'll... I'll talk to her. Maybe she can... Maybe she can help me. Ah, and there's a control panel. Perfect. Shut up. All right, get one more axle. Y'all fuckers are scared para todo, coño. You wouldn't know somebody helping you if it bit you in the goddamn ass. All righty. There we go. Now what we gotta do here is we gotta put the fucking... I put this on it. If no horse can, will go up there because of how horses low-key suck... Well, just then I will be the horse. All right, get on. I'll get in, I'll handle it. Get on board before he changes his mind. <gasps> All righty. Now let's, uh. Oh my god, you guys are such fucking little wusses. If anything. You guys are such- What? No! No! Wait! Oh god. <laughs> Don't worry guys, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh fuck. Is it? No, it's fine, I've got this. It's okay guys, I've got it. Okay, it's okay guys, I've got it. Alright. Alright, alright. Excellent. All right. I believe in you. And now I go to prep up for ultimate. Yeah. You have a good one, Lynn. I hope you have fun. Why is go it not forth working? And conquer. Why is it not working? Did I put the wheels on See the wrong you way? Later. Mwah. Yeah, no worries. Mwah. Have a good one. Okay, here we go. What the fuck? Are my wheels on wrong? No, they're not. No, they are on wrong. My wheels are on wrong? Nah, fuck. You can... You can put on your wheels wrong?
I wonder if you use the rear the rear wheel is reversed. Yeah. Alright. Oh god! Damn it! <laughs> is V Bridger acting up again? Fuck. Hold on. V Bridger's shitting the bed. Yeah, no, apparently I fucked shit up, okay? Yeah, that would do it. I didn't reattach it properly. Well. Where's the console? Where's the control panel? Did that just fall off? Where the fuck did that go? Where'd it go? I, I kind of need that. All right, where the fuck? All right, well, I gotta go find it. It's gotta be up there somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay, I can bring him a horse. All right, so where did I? Fucking lost the control panel. What the fuck? Of all the things to lose, you didn't reattach the axe, you glued it to the other. Uh, yeah, but I didn't notice that until it was too late. So that was. That was my bad. But now I can't find the axe, the freaking console. So that's just fucking gone, I guess. Well, you know what? <laughs> I can get up here without fucking... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Where are we warping here to reset it? Nah, it's right here. It's right here. Okay, all the wheels are on right. Let's put this a little bit closer to things. There we go. All right, get on. Okay. It's fine. You guys are so scared. Don't jostle the breezer, it's very delicate. I'm sorry your shit sucks. Eh. Alright. Do you want me to get you up there or not? Damn it! God damn it, okay. Okay. We gotta go the long way. Get it, we'll handle it. All right, slow and steady. Everybody get on.
Okay, now I gotta turn it around first. It's fine! You guys are so... Alright. Move this stupid thing out of the way. Slow and steady. God, okay. Okay. They don't like even going remotely close to vertical. This is gonna be very annoying. Okay, let me see. It's an all-terrain, so it should be able to climb. We can't go up those. We're going to go too vertical, and it's going to freak them out. I'm going to fucking shoot that bitch. She just is so loud. All right, all right. Yeah, oi, oi. And it's like, okay, girl, like it's nighttime. Like, shut up. <laughs> okay. I think that's... Oh, there's a fang. Alrighty. Don't worry, guys. It's fine. Just making sure there's anything else here. Damn it. Okay, we got this. Eh. God, okay. I I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. It's fine. You guys are fine. Uh what a bunch of freaking weenies. Okay, so here's the thing. If they go too vertical, the maestro fucking loses his shit, so... Oh my god! We're not falling! Okay, I have to survey the area when I as I get them up. If you stop freaking out, then we can get to the Great Fairy. If you can got if you guys can just fucking trust me for like five minutes and know that I've got this, 
we can get to the great fairy but you guys don't trust me so this is kind of going to be a lot harder than it needs than it has any right to be Okay. If we're too vertical, they get fucking... They get fucking scared and paranoid. So let's get up this hill. Okay, stay there. The fairy's over here. Okay. okay, so. Can't be too vertical or else they lose their shit. If we can get them around here, we should be able to Bring them down. Bring them up, I mean. Okay. 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 One second. Let me see really quick. Where's that fucking slab? Here it is. They don't like when the stupid thing jostles, so I'm putting it on this. It means I have to put the fucking wheels on this. That's fine. Hemlo. Hemlo. Uh, PC kind of fixed. I think we're good. I just got to update everything. Yeah? The problem fixed. Hell yeah. I know. That's it. I'm going to be doing this all night. That's fair. Yeah. That, so, updating all my windows. Uh -huh. Then final. <laughs> and then Destiny. That's going to be my night in order. That's fair. Yeah, but all my stuff is saved. I have all my documents and everything. Wow, these wheels are crooked as fuck. Okay. Which means I haven't lost a single important thing. There you go. That's good. Yep. All right. Uh, so you're in here or are you streaming? I am streaming. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes all I just right. spend time in this fucking channel, man. I don't know. Most of the time I'm actually streaming. Yeah. All right. Let me. These wheels are still yeah. fucking off off kilter. I see you doing. Uh, you're, building, you're building a little fucking Lego racer. It's because these assholes like their cart is so wibbly wobbly. They freaking if I go anything more than like a 60 degree angle, they lose their shit. 
Get in the goddamn yeah. car. Build a flying machine. They they don't they freak out if they're like I have to get them to the great fairy, but in order to do that, okay. So as long as the thing itself doesn't jostle, it should be fine. All right, let's go. They're land lovers. We'll see if they'll they'll take this as a suitable, because they're like no horse can get up it, and it's like okay. Oh my god, we're not falling. Maybe you should just not go up that hill and just go more around on the lower incline. There's the weight where the ferry is. There is an incline. Every direction of the ferry is an incline. I have to find the right incline is the problem. That sounds extremely arbitrary and stupid. It's very arbitrary because again, they fucking lose their shit for everything. Man. Maybe they should stop bitching and be happy they're on a motorized device. I don't know. Anyway. Yep. Okay, so that's... I can try to take them up through there. We'll see. Worst case, it doesn't work. Oh, God. It turned on Skype by default. Holy shit. Fine, guys. Okay, that was probably the worst of it. It's even active anymore. The alerts from what? Okay, so they did want me to go through the pass they showed me. Well, fuck. All right, finally, fuck. I launch them into the atmosphere, just fucking strap rockets to them. I'm like, have fun! Yeah, right. Just In any fucking rate. doot doot um, the flute. Mm hmm. Yeah? No, I wasn't gonna say. Um, no, nothing. I'm just gonna. My phone's gonna die, so I really yeah. shouldn't be watching a stream. Yeah, no. It, put your phone uh, to charge, cool. dude, and just do what you gotta do. Yeah. Or at least I put your phone to charge so that yeah, you can be... keep doing what what you want. Yeah. Oh man. Right, yeah, you have fun. Good luck. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a couple oranges. Piper, look, she's awakened. Oh, I didn't know she'd be so shiny. Thank you again. Reward, it's not too much for these pockets to handle. You deserve it. Oh, I'll take a... Fuck yeah, I'll take 100 rupees. That's better. Now I can concentrate on our performance. The captivating Kesa is now at peace. But she wasn't the last great fairy to shut away from her flower bud. That's why the, sh the show must go on. Thank you once again. Oh yeah, if it's just fucking taking the troop to the thing, that's a lot easier. It's just... Now it's a little challenge thing. Uh. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. A fair amount. What do I need for this? Mighty Thistle. So I need three of those. Okay. That's what I need for that. I can't enhance those. Can't enhance that. Can't enhance it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I can enhance this. Boop. All right, that's times two. 
So I can easily upgrade the Hylian gear. The Hylian gear is always the easiest stuff. If you kill both goblins, congratulations, you can enhance it. Enhance away. Okay, this will leave me at, they go from three to five, and I think they go to eight. So that'll leave me with all three pieces. Yes, that'll leave me at 24. That's really good defense to have. I should have had that a while ago. So, I'm sorry, I'm peeling like a mandarin at the same time. I'm like, kind of snacky, but not hungry. Alrighty. Mm. Squeaky, do you ever, did you ever like popcorn? I love popcorn. I just, I have a bag of like white cheddar popcorn, but that's a, that gets my hands all dirty. Mm. Climber gear is always worth enhancing. I like them strong. Alrighty. Okay, we'll have to put our Bokoblin hood away because unfortunately we can't enhance it. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to go down a hole. So what's the... There's a chasm by Kakariko. Last location. And this is where we came in from. So we're going to go to the light route. Finally. Finally. I want to at least spend an hour here. I still like how there's an anti-splat set. What's your favorite type of popcorn? Me movie theater, microwave, or pre-made? Uh, movie theater popcorn is really good. It's hard to beat it. Um, Microwave popcorn is what I grew up with, though. So there's a little bit of a nostalgia to it um pre-made i don't know I, i'm guessing pre-made you mean like it's already in a bag um my favorite from out of everything is white cheddar popcorn i love white cheddar popcorn but um but white cheddar popcorn is also very messy so that's why i like i'm kind of like sad I'm going the right way. So I have some glowy food that I can also eat. My ranking is movie microwave pyramid. I'd say movie popcorn is pretty hard to beat, but that's because of the butter. I, I can I can make homemade popcorn if I ever wanted to and make it probably 10 times better because I can put as much fucking butter as I want. All right, where's the... Where's the buds? Oh my god. Please. Daphne's Canyon mine. I gotta find a refinery so I can get like a better charge for my zonite batteries too. All right, so apparently there's treasure here. But where? 
I'm guessing it's a cavern? Ooh, large zonite. I'm guessing there's like a cavernish entrance here. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I'm guessing there's something. Here it is. Besides my fucking, I have my talus sledge. Alrighty. Actually, hold on, I can just do this instead. Hold on. I have an okay amount of bomb flowers. How many actually? Five? Fuck it, it's for the zonite. One. Okay, fucking eat my ass. Is that not a cave entrance? Okay, never mind. I thought that'd be a cave entrance. That looked like it would be a cave entrance. There's another one over there. You no, know, some theaters will let you put caramel. Ew, I don't like caramel and popcorn. Caramel is low key supposed to be salty, not sweet. At least I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Okay, that was all of it. Alrighty. Now, where's the fucking cavern entrance? Oh, wait. No, that was... That was where I put something. Okay. Oh, bomb flower. Sweet. Where's my... No. You'll say I don't have to use arrows every time I want to do this. There you go.
Also told Sensei about how I almost went insane in doing the poem, and he loved how hard I worked on it and told me he'd give me 100% based on how much effort. Hell yeah. I take it. I'd absolutely take it. Fuck yeah. 300. Miner's Top. Shirt featuring lamps in various sizes made with help for excavating environments. Hell yeah. What's that? Is that where I was? Yeah, that was where I was. Alright, so now... Okay. Gotta be careful when I'm here too, because any health I take is fucking true damage. Other X's are around here. Spot marked on old map. Yeah. And what's over here? Regional phenomena. Regional phenomena. Okay. I even showed him some of the no notions I made to try to help me not mess up with some parts. Oh, yeah, no. I, I think when it comes to, like, certain things, it's always worth letting teachers know, like, hey, I had a hard time with this. Like, none. Are these oh pose the fuck are you guys oh they dropped zonite how the fuck are you You dropped seeds and zonite. Interesting. Oh. What's this? I see. Started practicing Thursday night for four hours, Friday for four, Saturday. Oh, was when you tried to record.
smell a lot of po. Read you no. Read you no. That's a light route. But I think that's the one I've been to. Yeah, that's the light route I've been to. So then where's the next one? I guess I just have to kind of go towards those mouths. Oh my goodness, though. You know what? Hold on. Doesn't really do that much. Whoop. Zalbo. Oh, oh, it's gonna die in there. Alrighty, ready. That stuff. Update. Can move everything over there except my mic. Oof. That sounds rough. Alrighty. Oh, there's a bunch of Poe over there. I think even a bigger one than normal. Marjonite. Link, please. I'll take that rock hammer. I can use that better than using up my stuff. need the bow. Okay, if I can shoot. Okay, sweet. Read 
Riju. Riju. Stop. You more basta. going in any specific direction so let's just go for the x we'll meet a where was that that's the one we saw we're headed we're headed towards one and then we just kind of didn't let's just go this way fuck it let's just go away I have the cable link, but the boom for it is falling apart, so moving it isn't ideal. Fuck. That's annoying. I'm sorry that's happening. Whoop. Hi, Mikado. How are we doing? But yeah, that sounds hella frustrating. I can't fucking stand that. All right, what is that? Hi. Throwing spear? What the fuck is this? Oh! Oh, it's like a ghost. I, so I don't know what those are. Just got home for a second job. Hell yeah. Traveler's sword. They're like spirits that are like giving me shit. Alrighty. Light root. But the weapons they have are pristine and unaffected by when all the weapons are rusted. Oh. Interesting. Mm. I'm gonna grab a couple more mandarins. Those are really good. Alrighty, we got some more of those. Alrighty, we got a bit more of the depths. And brighten the surrounding area. Surrounding area is huge though. This area is in general fucking huge. Mm-hmm. Like, that little shit didn't do nothing, so nothing now. Mm. Mm. Purified weapons are significantly stronger than the surface versions. Hmm. Oh, it's got the little, little pristine thing. Okay. Yeah, and that throwing spear, the first one I found, was like three power, but this one's eight. That is interesting. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Almost triple. Mm. Mm hmm. That's insane. Okay. Okay, that one's not that that far. Not that far. Okay. Let's heck and go. This place is so trippy. Um. Uh, I've got a good stick here. Yeah, it's a high attack power when it gets wet. I can probably make another rock hammer. Just what do I want to do another rock hammer with? I'd rather just go find a stick. I don't want to use it on the stuff I just got, essentially. That's what I'm saying. But at the same time, it's like it's there to be used. Ah. Uh... Take the shitty one first. Mm hmm. Oh, that one was shower. Ooh. You find more of those ghost soldiers. Even if you don't want the weapon it has, use Ultra Hand to pull it so you can reset it on the next Blood Moon. Oh. Hold on. There's still bull goblins and they're still stupid. Durability up. Okay. Muddle bud. There's so many po here. Okay. Hi. Hey, Riju. Here you are. Excuse me. That was great. Well, okay, Tulin. You know what? There's some puff shrooms over there. Getting the puff. Good plot, muddle buds. So underused. Uh, yeah, making it difficult. Powerful odor that can disorient and confuse. I can see how some people might not utilize them as much.
Oh, hi. Bright bloom seeds. I'll take that. Oh, there's so much. I love how it's just you, buddy. Oh, bitch. Hold on, I want to capture these. Deep firefly. Just a couple, as a treat. All right. There's a lot of zonite here. Holy shit. There's also a lot of rock hammers here, so I'm definitely gonna make use of them. Puff shrooms, my favorite for dealing with lionels. Uh, puff shrooms. The shroom of the puff variety. Spine of spores when a stimulus is applied. The bitter powder makes them inedible. Hmm. Hi. Link, can you hit them? Riju, stop. He's just itching to start shit. Right, was that everything? Can't carry any more, but there's definitely some more zona here. Place had a bunch of it. I saw it everywhere. Is that it actually? Oh, never mind. I didn't see it everywhere. I was wrong. They have a lot of rock hammers, so there's not going to be any shortage of them anytime soon. There's a bunch of pose over there, but I don't feel good going over there. Okay, let's keep heading towards our goal. Let's see. Basically, a smoke bomb. And enemies inside its cloud can be back attacked. Oh. Uh, Dagnosfera, I love those. Make groups fight each other. I use them all the time. Oh. It's always interesting to hear how other people utilize some of these things. Because there are some things where I wouldn't, I would never have thought to use them, you know? I'm just like, oh, okay. I can do that. But, like, I'd never use it, you know? Bijou, stop. Okay, low key, I need bomb flowers, so. Okay. Plus, it's quite satisfying to sneak up on a silver moblin and one-shotting with a sneak strike. 
Back then in Breath of the Wild, you couldn't one-shot them with Sneak Strike. You'd get a good hit in, but it wouldn't kill them. Now you can kill them with Sneak Strike? That's awesome. Alrighty. Going on over here. Pose. That one looks a little bit different than the others. What the fuck? That one looks different. Noticeably different. But how do I get up there? Hmm. The weapon is good, plus there's an eightfold sword to further enhance the bonus damage. Oh. Can I climb all the way up this tree? Hold on. I have climbing gear to make it a little bit better. Just a little bit. Hmm. Even if it didn't kill, it'll weaken it a lot. Yeah. It's better than no damage. All right, now I can get up there. I want to see what's up with that. Oh, I'm not going to reach. Oh, I'm not going to reach. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. I, have, I should have a bajillion of these. Probably could have also just used Ascension, but you know I'm dumb. What is this? Large Poe. Neat. Now I got a nice vantage point, though. What's over there? Probably a light thing, but that's where I was, <laughs> so... But I've got a nice vantage point. Let's attach some bright blooms. There we go. That's our destination. You can uppies though. Yeah. Yeah, the uppies rune. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, the shroom of the pluff variety. Okay. Where is it? I can't see it anymore. Can I uppies on this? That would make things easy. No, that would make things too easy. Yeah. 
Okay. Miss something? Okay, I thought I did for a minute. All right, let me go up here. There's a bud over there. Lordy. Fire a huge one. Let me not land on that shit, thank you. I love how these depths have a lot of bomb flowers. Yes, they do. I'm really liking that so far, because bomb flowers and just, I really miss bombs. So like not having access to bombs as much is a little sad, but it does make the game a little bit more challenging in that aspect. All right, knit a net light root. All righty. Perfect. What is over there? A Riju special has bomb like properties. You can, you can mine with it? Okay. Thank you for letting me know. I'm sitting here being like, I can't really use her shit. I didn't know you can mine with it. All right, there's a bunch of Zonai fans and stuff. Little cars, okay. You can quote unquote mine with it. That's still better than nothing. That's awesome. I didn't even know, I didn't even know you could do it. Yeah. That makes sense, though. That makes sense. She saved me a lot on hammers when dealing with rock. Holy shit. I thank you for that information. Holy shit. What the fuck happened? Oh, hi. Huh. All right. There was another bud over there. Tulin casually just headshots it. Oh yeah, no, Tulin's... Tulin, when Tulin decides to do shit, is just... Is usually pretty pog. My only issue is that he's like Donald. He, he doesn't do anything until it's kind of low-key too late. When Tulin AI finally kicks in, exactly. Well, I was gonna say that went pretty far. Damn. Oh, Looks so like there's a camp here. Oh, you passed a ghost spider? Oh, I did? There's a ghost spider? I don't think I want. I don't think I want to meet that. There's a camp here. No soldier. Oh, sorry. I thought I said. I thought that said spider. Okay. It restore. It can restore vitality. That's right. The bright core. This gigantic tree. Blah blah blah. The light was weak. I was able to help just now. I was watching. You know, it was you. Ego clan. Don't you? Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay. We're doing this again. The eight full blade Loki. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, up, up. Eight full blade compared to what I've got now. Uh, I should probably attach some stuff to some of these like spears. So hold on. Let me go to my materials. And then I've got some stuff here. Uh, break easily due to its odd shape. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, grab one of these. And a horn. Why not? They're both okay. Uh, let's put the fat one on this one. That way they're a little bit better. That eightfold blade, though. Can't take it. Don't Hemkim have enough? Oh well. There's another hole here. And then there's something here, spot marked on the old map. So we can. Let me. Put that pin there so I can see it. Alrighty, let's go. Let's try to get to that and then let's... That's the sword with the bonus sneak strike. Yeah, it is. But I, I don't have... I guess I can just dump a rock hammer. I don't need it. Next, improve sneak strike. Mm. What can I throw away? I don't really have anything I can throw away. A gnarled wooden stick. Uh, traveler's sword. Hmm. Magic scepter. Like, you know what? It's not like I won't be able to find. Uh. Hmm. Eight full triples. It. Yeah. All right. Well, let's keep going. We'll just dump the rock hammer. It is what it is. There's a ghost soldier. Ah! Ah! Get out of there!
What are those? Oh, it's like a temple. That's probably where the treasure is. I need to climb. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there's a light route there. That's where that landed. Let's see, what are they doing over there? Yeah, no, like all the fucking bacoblins here have fucking rock hammers. So there's definitely no shortage of them. Great Abandoned Central Mine. Interesting. Oh, you found it? Oh, I found something. Hi. Didn't see anybody else down there. Blah, blah, blah. Since you took the, or I mean, survey team, <laughs> but we definitely took the interview too. That's why we're here. Yep. Take our latest discovery, not the silver feet. Strange statue. Okay. Yeah. So these are all probably fucking Yiga. Uh-huh. Conferring auto bill to authorizer now. Please utilize it to explore except for the depths of the zonite. For zonite or with zonite. Ooh, what am I getting? I'm getting the best power in the game? Ooh. Instantly recreate your ultra hand projects by near by near using nearby items and zonite. Auto build records your previous creations. Did I see what I just saw? Did that thing just give you the power we've been researching? That's incredible. Could you give us a demonstration? Let's see what the text has to say. The ability will allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object recommitted to memory, committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. I know just what to use it on. Luck would have it, both of our vehicles just broke, and we've been struggling to put them back together again. Oh. One of the round pedestal lost a wheel. Uh. One of the square pedestals fall into pieces. But I think if you put the wheel back into the first one, you should be able to use your power to repair the second in no time flat. Alrighty. So, fix it up. Uh, I'll do that in a second, how about? Okay. Okim dokim. There's a launch pad here. Huh. Well. Alright. Well, I guess I have to use a little flutter, uh, a wing, to get me there. That's ah, okay. There's some right here. It went right into a hole. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Alrighty. No registered designs. So. Oh, and that's the last one. Sweet. Like that. <laughs> Wheels right back there, snug as a bug. Time for the main event. 
Fix it up, lickety splits. Things you stare at and the things can do the thing. Okay. Auto build. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like that. It's like I'm seeing double. Well, it's less than no time flat. This is exactly what. Thank you, ancient power. The attacks were right after all. I'll say that power is incredible. Legends were true. Oh. Hello. Great work, both of you. Change your credit where credit is due. Yes, credit where credit is. Hi. If there's one foe I won't never forget, it's the man who cast me from my Gerudo Desert hideout into these very depths. It was you. Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. That means you, Link. Don't try to tell me you've forgotten me. We were bound by fate, you and I. From the ashes rising. Oh my god, this goober. Leader of the... How did you... F How did you live? Saw it all. Saw the moment you obtained the ancient power we've sought for so long. The highlight of all the musty old texts we've found in this land. It remembers objects you've assembled and can instantly reproduce them. A long lost ability from the distant past. But you... you... You're cheating! <laughs> Here we are working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand, and you can just whip them up in an instant. It's not fair. You know who else could use that power? The one we worship and revere, the Magnificent One. If we offered it to him, he could have crushed you and Zelda both. But you had just walked up and snatched it away. All right, I guess, I guess we're having a boss fight. Oh, okay, I guess we're having, oh fuck. Hi Claire, I guess we're having a fucking boss fight that I did not ask for. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, it is badly damaged, huh, isn't it? You just found a way to exploit his AI. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did I just? That's not how you're supposed to do the fight. You pesky little pest. Why don't you just stand there and let me squish you? That wasn't what they wanted you to do. But that was not the way I fought. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point! 
right handy at the little construct. I'll grab that power you cheated me out of for myself off at that southern, that abandoned southwest mine. I mean, it's been a while, so I don't remember how I fought him. So don't follow me. <laughs> the Nintendo way was to get behind the vehicle, run up the ramp, and bonk him. What? What was... What was... But they taught me how to quickly make a thingy. I was like, maybe I can use the thingy, but then I was like, I can't steer it, though. I can at least use <laughs> You're kidding me! <laughs> hey! Excuse me. Thank you for pelling the trespass. I hope you'll pardon me for listening in on your conversation. That man mentioned an abandoned mind. In mine to the southwest, I suspect that he's returning to the former Gerudo mine. The place flourished with activity long ago like this one, or was constantly unearthed and refined. But because of your vehicle platform, you forced him to stop his car and use his Yiga meteor, opening himself to attack. <laughs> Gotta love using the <laughs> Okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> that place flourished with activity long ago, or was constantly unearthed and refined. There are statues that point the way to the abandoned Gerudo mine. Follow them to reach that destination. Recommend by making your way to light you what we see over there. There's something I'd like you to have. Please speak with my associate. Okay. Master Koga of the Yiga. Means this schema stone. Stone slabs depict schematics of things such as Zonai vehicles. Auto build saves the schematic and keep builds it to command. Hey, fan plane. Okay. Now you can look up different builds people have for usual machines. Huh. I did not think that was actually an exploit for that boss. That's hilarious. I hope you find that one useful. All right. Okay. Only thing is I don't have a little I don't have a little steering thing. But let me hold on because you sell stuff and I need these. Okay. Can I have all of this? I'll take all of it. All that are available? Yeah. And these big ones? All of them. Yeah. Okay. So can you like give me my more, bar more battery processing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, you can't do it for me. You gotta go to the one in the Sky Island, then. Okay. Thank you for your patronage. 256 charges, almost enough for a fresh battery. Yeah, a lot. You gotta go to the, to, the, to the dude in the sky to do it. Oh well. Let's go. Oh no. Oh wait, this still glides. I'm an idiot. Alrighty, Cordat Light Root. Still haven't found that treasure. Unless that was in there. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, where did my plane go? It's gone. No, the treasure is just a little bit of ways. Oh. Well, let's uh, let's get a big one. Let's get a big boy over there. And let's just shoot it down. Duh. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'll take that, I guess. Hylia Canyon Mine. Be closed. There's another processing furnace that's an easier to reach place. Miner's trousers. Hell yeah. And now the pose. Alrighty, sweet. Uh, there's a mine here. Oh, fucking. Uh. Okay, I see rockets, I see a battery. Now you got auto build, you can fix Robbie's Robbie's plight. Which where is Robbie? There's another thing there. Regional phenomena. Hmm. Okay. I still need a better battery. Which I gotta go to the sky to do that. Bluff. Here's your stop. Down, girl. Okay. Mm hmm. No, different one. I don't have a minecart. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I gotta pee really bad. Uh. Let's uh. Let's go back to the cordite light route, and then I think we're gonna go to the sky island. Beef up our battery, and I think that's where we're gonna call it because we've been going for six hours now. And I don't want to go super de duper long. So let us go. Hemkiam. Yeah, right here is where the, the closest to the mine. Because I think that's the... I He was like, go oh, come to me when you have like a bunch of the little refined things. And he'll probably have more by this time. So then I can get big, big battery. Look out landing also has a processing dude for more battery. Oh! Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't go to Lookout Landing enough. I really should. That's my. That's on me. All right, Nunya Shrine. All right, I have to go down a bunch of shit just to. Oh shit. Well. All 
I, I wanted to fly on that. It's fine, it's over there anyway. That big one. Sure and fly it. Right, where the fuck? Why is it so dark? Oh wait, there we go. Oh. It's gonna break anyway. Oh, hi. The fuck? How long have you been here? Yeah, this is about to break anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I just got out of stick. Yay, it's got more. Are there more mine carts in here now? Do it harder. All of them. Yes. All right. Okay. Processing. Crystallized charges? Yeah. Donate charges? Yeah. Okay, but like... Yeah, my God, do it for me! <laughs> Okay, hold on. I really gotta fucking pee. Oh my god.
Okay. Wow, I had to go so bad. Okay, so wait, if these guys don't do it for me, I guess, all right, I guess I do have to go to Lookout Land. Okay, you know what, that's fine. Lookout Landing is not a bad place to wrap it up anyway. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Robbie's thing. Robbie's still underground, isn't he? Is he still underground? Hmm. Okay, now who do I go about this? Oh, there's Robbie. Big update. Sensor detect shrines. I'm more impressed. Or a pad research lab. In Hateno. Alrighty. Josha knows. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just luck. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. The scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there. Just like the one you found the first time. What really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one. Until it ends up at the last statue facing the final destination. A building that looks like a temple. Mm. See one of the Zonai. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. Also, betting the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those. Hmm. Of course, it's always speculation. Aww. They cold pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go to the depths. So here. Okay. Well, thanks for those. You can have these. Yeah, I'll take those. Yeah. All right. Mystery in the depths. Okay. That sounds cool. So go to the exit right there and into the rocks outside. That's where the processing guy. Auto build. The ability to instantly replicate things you build and scamma stones. So there really was a Zonite temple housing was... Oh, I already got there. <laughs> I already got that. This must mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Okay. Hot air balloon. I'm thinking, if you can fix Robbie's balloon, he might shut the fuck up. Okay. okay. Lol, I unknowingly ended up doing that. <laughs> Good job. Built the balloon in an instant. Yeah. This mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. G goggles. Hey. Goggles. What are you yelling about, Josha? Inconceivable. My balloon, it's fixed. This is what power zone I had. Large zone I. Zonai power is better. Depths. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Oh, well, there you go. Good job, me. Koga, the leader of the camp? Oh, this is dangerous. I gotta remain... Okay, come this way. You face Koga in the depths? What's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? Why well, no, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom of Hyrule. Koga's had it out for you and Princess Zelda in a long time. He'll do anything to put into your lives. Despite everything we're looking into already, we just can't take our eyes off this threat. Could know what could happen what happened to the princess. Keep in mind I'll be continuing the depths from here. 
forest of time, there's a chasm there. I've also gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom. These statues are different from the ones you showed me with the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere too, and you and do come near where you got your auto build ability. Statues lead further southwest, far beyond the building. Alrighty. Okay. Pose. Yes? learn you stand before me I am one who returns pose to the afterlife offer pose to me I have a lot of pose indeed a po dark clump oh oh Dark tunic. 16 pose gives me a bomb flower. Oh. All right. Well, that's something to work for. Where are they? I'll tell you the location of my brethren. Yeah. Okay. Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in parts of this land. You offer me a hundred pose. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. All right, go outside the exit that's right there and go to the rocks outside. The rocks outside. Okay, one sec. Okay, go to the exit that's right. No, no. Back behind you, where the stone was. Oh, oh, there's my car too. Where the weird fucking okay, this guy. You mean like this boy? Oh, I gotta talk to Robbie again. I mean here. Right, yeah. Where you just offered pose. Okay. This guy. Okay, up there. Got a better idea. Hi. Crystal refinery. Mm-hmm. Produce two energy wells that require 200 crystal light. Do it! Please wait. Find your crystal charges into two energy wells. Hell yeah. Oh, baby. Bruh. I would enjoy further visits from you. Alrighty, well now I know. Hell yeah, thanks Emerald. I would not have checked to guess. First off, I would not have known to check Lookout Landing and I would have been probably like suffering through like three three charges. Okay, what do you want, Robbie? Auto build, shove a good thing, blah, blah, blah. That reminds me. Listen up. Now that Joshua has solved the mystery of the slate, turn to the Pura, starting with the sensor. Alrighty. Hateno Village. Alright. We'll do that next time. Goodbye. See you later, nerd. Alrighty. That's that's all the way over there. Let's go to the let's look at the map real quick. Let's look at this map before we wrap up. Got quite a bit. I think that where we wanna go next. That's in the that's where it is, yeah. I think where we want to go next. We won't do it right away. We actually, you know what? We actually might do the Zoras next because we're already at Zora Domain. I don't have the necessary things to get me all the way up to Death Mountain. It's going to suck and I hate the Gorons. So we're going to probably try to fill out the rest of this map on the uh, under Lanayru. 
Um, and then, and then see what happens from there. Now you can save an amount of custom builds and auto builds as many. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I think I like how they put a little flag here where it's like, this is where you were last time. I really like how they do that. That's really cool. And obviously as I jump into chasms, I can get into better places. Like if there's a chasm here, it would actually be around here or I can go to the chasm here. That's cool. All right. Okay, I think I think we have a general idea of what we're going to be doing next time. I think um, until I can find something that I can cycle with uh, Zelda, I, I think we'll have um, Tears of the Kingdom be kind of a weekly thing. Um, now, on Saturday, I'm going to be doing something different. Um, for it, It's going to be a little bit of a special stream. Um... I don't want to say what it is in case she checks the vod, but um, we're gonna be playing. We're gonna be we're gonna be playing something that's that's, that's kind of special, and I hope you guys freaking tune in on Saturday, and then on Sunday we'll be back with some more chill vibes and dot hack gu, and then we will be back here next week with some more Tears of the Kingdom. We're gonna try to do more stuff in the depths. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely more stuff in the depths. Um, probably going to different parts of the maps and just jumping down in those chasms instead of just going back where we were and then kind of traversing the long ways. And then also maybe expanding that map a little bit more. But there's, there's so much. There is just so, so much. Um, but I think what we're going to do now is we're going to see if we can find someone to hem Kim raid. Let's see. Let's see, who can we hem him raid? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna raid VV. We're gonna heck and raid VV. They're currently playing the DLC for Cyberpunk 2077. <gasps> They're <laughs> they are heckin' a cutie patootie. Give them some love. Give them some heckin' emotes. I will see you guys on Saturday. I swear I'm trying to look for my freaking here we go channel. We're going to open up that raid there. Again, I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Thanks for spending time with me for as long as you were. I will see you all later. Mwah. And there we go. Goodbye, everybody. Mwah.